The greatest feeling in the world was holding my own gun. I'm hypertensive, but all my decisions been wholesome. My independence had me flipping on siblings I stole from. Said I'm just big and loud. Well, half a pound is my silent treatment. I punched out plugs I could have stopped from eating. Stash of the Prada. Shy nigga got up. Gun in the mass in the grass. It's a pop up. I was Robin Hood with the stock. Don't get shot up. Now I'm watching Robin Hood in my stocks. They just shot up. Alright, we back. My expert opinion, the greatest show in the world, 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 world. Come on, Joe, what's up, Joe? Yeah, you supposed to say it too, man. Saying that shit. Come on, Joe. That's Cap. That's Cap. This ain't the greatest show in the world. It's the greatest show. Especially while I'm sitting here. Y'all should have did that shit before I got out the car. Y'all should have did that shit in the bathroom. The fuck is wrong with y'all? Hey, you said that shit to them? I was rolling up. Yeah, nah. You know what it is. You know what it is. shit for y'all. You know what it is. Have some respect when niggas is in that light, hit that shit. Let everybody know you ain't here. Don't cost you no paper unless you's a mother. Hater, 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 hater. Call and response. This is crazy. I ain't been here. I ain't been here a while, boy. Now get out of here. Whoa! This is for this is special de special dedication to yes. Joe Buttons. Champion. Okay. Don't be worried. Okay. Hit the subscribe button. I see where you're taking the culture. I can see where you're taking the culture. I like it. I like it. I love you, Joe. I like it. Yo, Sam, I love you too, man. Don't love this nigga. Joe is crazy. Yo, shout out to all the truckers, shout out to all all the 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 the, the, the nurses, the people who work in the hospitals listening and during your shift and sending me messages and saying how I get you through your day. I appreciate that. Um I'm here with Mac. Mac was popping. What up, bro? How are you, sir? Oh, I could complain, but I'd be complaining. Shout out to Don Mooney. Stay consistent. Dope shit. Okay. Splat murder. What's up, nigga? We here. Shout out to my nigga Smooth the Hustler, Trigger the Gambler. Oh, for the hoodies. Sure. My yeah, brothers. For big sure. Shout out, to the guys. Shout out to the guys. Yo, everything is good. Everything is great, man. I'm happy to be home, happy to be free, and not be around fuck niggas. Uh, shout out to my brother, Mr. Jaro. Shout out to YKTV Magazine. Make sure y'all go get that new issue with uh, Westside coming out, with Westside Gun on the cover. It's going to be epic. Thank you, Math Alpha. Yo, so shout out to the gang, gang. Gang, Mo, salute, Chaz. Smoke this in the motherfucking building once again. I'm just excited I get to smoke weed here for the first time. <laughs> That's what's up. Everybody be Last smoking time. weed. Yeah, I'm like, damn, listen, I've been here mad time. No, you, never you got a limited pass, my nigga. That's why I love you. Right. You, you, was, you was here at the time before there was new ownership. Now there's new ownership. Mm. Bang, bang. Mm. More changes. More change. <laughs> More <laughs> and we got my man, the godfather of podcasting. Yes, sir. Whenever Carisha's not around, Joe Button in the morning. Yeah. How are you, sir? Couldn't be better, man. Couldn't be better. Blessed. Blessed and highly favored. Good to see all you gentlemen. Yes, yes. Little this is, this is necessary. Um, it's a nice you, outfit change you did. You look yes. good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> very, very, you look good. very nice jacket. That you look nigga, very comfortable. That nigga went in the bathroom, came out like Donna Summers or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> That nigga ain't even do that on the BET red carpet, huh? No, no, no. We enjoy it doing all that. You know, it's cool. It's cool. Um, this is usually a pot of house episode, but uh, but Flip, Flip don't it. talk to you no more, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Why is that? What happened? I can't speak for other men. That's crazy. I can't speak for other we men. We was we was like we had a thing going. What happened? Y'all gotta what? go. Y'all gotta go to therapy. You, gotta, you know, <laughs> they gotta go to therapy. They gotta go to therapy. I don't know what's what's going on. You don't know what's going on? Not at all. Not at all. No, no. It's crazy. It's nothing in this contract. They say he can't come to you? Yeah. No, no. not at all. That's my man. Flip and do what he wants. 
Just had to check, man. Got to be, some, weird, gotta be something you did. It ain't nothing I did. It's never nothing you Yo, did. Yo, you guys got me feeling like... It's never nothing you did. <laughs> it's never nothing I did. That nigga always make a post. Yo, I'm Yo I didn't do nothing. <laughs> Don't ask me about it. The end. The end is. be like, nah, I agree with math. I'm like, is. wait. What? <laughs> <laughs> Holy no, it's shit, facts, bro! It's facts. Dude. Oh man, listen, Teflon man, Don. I've been around for a long time, man. They Tef- know who Teflon I am. Teflon Don. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. At all. <laughs> I'm not supposed to be. Oh, Joe's going to try to make me be upset with that. I'm not upset with what? Um, the, the the fact that people just, you know, trust my word. You know? I don't want to see no uh, young black brothers upset. That's we come from enough trauma. Right. We deal with high blood pressure and enough high pressure situations. I don't want stress over this. This ain't. This ain't. This bad. don't be nothing. This the blessing. <laughs> right. This is the blessing. The, the niggas fighting when the blessing comes is. Uh, That's the whack <laughs> part. That's the whack part. Right. But when you know we put our time into this and it becomes something worth a lot of money to the people, and you're like, this is suck. So when like. You know, I go on the Joe Button podcast and the episode don't come out. I'll be like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> you got my phone number. Yeah. You never called me I and did. asked me what happened. I didn't because I was waiting. I'm like, maybe he got See, it on Patreon. That's my problem with Black Maybe it's Pop. a Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm here maybe, to talk maybe it's, today. Maybe it's yeah. bringing a man like mad today. bread. Like, At some point, I'm going to come out this jacket and we're going to get to it. <laughs> Black <laughs> podcasters try to use their podcast as fucking therapy, too. Mm. Right. And that's what y'all niggas do. If we know each other and we have each other's phone numbers, why am I ever hearing about whatever questions you got in your head on YouTube? Cause that it don't make sense. Because it, it's not something. It's not, not logical. It's not something for me to like question <laughs> another man on how you handle this business. You know what I'm saying? If there's a question about it, that's, that's not true. If there's a question about it, I just went through this with uh, Tasha K. We did an interview. I didn't put it out. She had questions. She came to me with the questions. I answered them. And then she kicked my back in. Oh, mm. you don't kick yeah. the oh, back wow. in first, first wow. before you get the answer. Answer. Mm. What was the answer again? For which one? For for, okay. No, for, for my episode. What do you mean out. again? Do you remember? Yeah, it was something. As a, it was a little. Uh, it was extra. <laughs> say what I said. <laughs> I don't remember. Sick of you niggas kicking my back in on YouTube you and don't some, say what I said. I'm a real term, logical guy. You use some term that, that I I don't I don't Homophobic was the homophobic. term. Homophobic. Homophobic was the term. That it was homophobic. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Why was it homophobic? Because you were homophobic. I wasn't homophobic. <laughs> oh, then you don't know what homophobic means. What is homo do you know what homophobic means? I think I have an idea what it means. <laughs> I, yo, yo, this I'm tired of you. We try to what you want you me to say? This part you of know, shit, yeah. and you just you sit here and play what you want me to say? Do you know what homophobic? What kind of question? This of course, our, I know what we, it is. Our interview came at a time when I was trolling and having some fun. Mm-hmm. I am who I am, so I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Math took it upon himself. It was a hot topic. He's missed a hot topic. He's missed a hot topic. So because that's what it was, when we sat down. He wanted to get into that. And when we got into it, he started sharing some of his views on it. And because I love him, <laughs> and because <laughs> I don't want none of that heat to get to him, he know not what he do. <laughs> he know not what he do. Right. I, I'm a dog, and not to me. So give me that episode. I'll put it up. Uh, no, because I'm in it. <laughs> <laughs> but because he loves me. Why y'all just do it again? <laughs> Why don't y'all just do another Math episode? Math is on my list of any time he needs me, I'm, I'm there. Right. So it's not a matter of why don't you do it again. If he need me, I'm going to show up. Or if I need him, I expect the same of him. It's just that particular piece of content, that's much. how it went that day. Got you. That's how it went that day. Okay, would you be willing to discuss it now? I can discuss anything. If you want to be homophobic on your I'm platform, not, I'm not that's, totally, being homophobic. that's totally up to you. Be, don't listen, listen. I was the not LGBTQIA plus community already know where I stand. Right. So what would you like to discuss? <laughs> what, what, what about it was homophobic? Your responses to my trolling. Your responses to the trolling. Your views, your views on it. Right. Was homophobic. How was it homophobic? If oh, I'm like, you need to watch the episode. If I'm, if I'm saying you. like, yo, you, if you, got a, you got a homeboy or whatever that, you know, he, 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 he's playing for the other team or he lives a different lifestyle than, than you live, y'all should be able to talk about it, right? How is that homophobic? Because it is. How? Mm. 
then you don't. The, y'all follow me. Y'all follow. So y'all don't follow so I don't, us, right? I don't care. If and they, I follow. I don't us, right? care if they follow you or not. That that those people are closeted for a reason. So when you say that somebody that's living that lifestyle should be able to divulge it with whoever, that's not the thinking. In no, that I'm community. talking about friends. We were talking about friends. friends. What? what about friends? If we're friends, like man, if me and you right, those people are to the point. If I, go, because if I wanted to go do that, did I come talk to you? Who the fuck is you? What are you talking about? <laughs> that, that's <laughs> that's not what I'm saying. Then, then clarify. What, what I was saying is. You know, if if you're my whole boy, we friends and all that shit. I don't feel like there's something that you should feel like you you have to hide from me because you because of a fear of being ostracized or or the wrong response. I received that, but is that your decision to make or is that the closeted person's decision to make? And that is their decision to make. But as a friend, any resistance you, to that. All right. Any resistance to that can come <coughs> off. So, so no, but that but that's wrong because then if I say like, okay, yo, how, how you doing today? Is that like intrusive? And then and then you went on to because you know that's not where you stopped. Then you went on to see. I love you, black podcasters, boy. Uh, that, he went. Uh, now he, I'm getting generalized. He went from, no, I'm, telling, I'm, I'm telling you what it was because black I saw it. I taped it. I paid you. for it. I saw it. You're you a black went, podcaster you went from, too, my friend. You went from yeah, but I don't move like niggas. I'm me. I move like me at all you, times. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You I move like me at all times. And that was a little offensive. Your exactly. use of I don't move like niggas. I don't move like niggas. I'm you, me. What do you mean, niggas? I don't move like nobody in the field. Okay, all right, cool. It just sounded a little black podcasters, and then you said, I don't move like See how you would want to protect me if that came off like that, right? So anyway, (laughs) Mav Mav was saying, hey, if we're friends, you should be able to divulge your sexuality to me, which sounds like a fine point. His next point was, I'm uncomfortable, and I'm changing the dynamics of the relationship if you come do that. Mm. Mm. No, it wasn't. That, that is, that it, it no, was. it wasn't. Yeah. Where's the footage? I'll send it to you. Okay, please. I will please send do it to it, you. Because I did not. But do that. I didn't think that you should be seen in that light as you were on this trajectory. You, you were took going it the up. wrong way. You going up. I didn't take it the wrong way. You said it. But I didn't. I didn't say it in a way where it's like, oh, I'm going to shun you. You didn't say it in a way. I just said clear. it in a way where you shouldn't feel like you have to. Hide. I'm not trying we're to really say friends, man. I'm not saying no. That was your intention. I'm saying. Whatever you said could have come off a way, so it's not worth the risk is not worth the reward on your platform. For you, nigga, stop saying me. They can't do nothing with me. <laughs> they can't do nothing with me. I'm here. Nobody can do nothing with me. I'm not the field. I'm talking about for the niggas that's trying to get there, like you was. So why would you even want that? No, I, I just feel like that was a lack of understanding. But Mav, do you I'm have any? the jacket. Do you have any <laughs> friends from that community? Yeah, because it's getting hot. Yeah, like, but Mav, we, Mav, do you have any friends like from that community? Huh? Do you of have friends I from do. that community? Of course I do. Like, so it's not homophobic. No, I'm not. You have friends you know, from I mean, that, that, don't, that shit don't scare me. And you know, what, you know what they indulge in. It's important yeah. for words, and it's important for your words and actions to align. Right. Right. At no point was I saying that Mav is homophobic. I never said that. It could come across. I said that. how he presented want. himself yeah. in that episode could come off away. So yeah. let's not put it out. Right. Right. That's a real friend. Mm. Look, okay, I, I hear what you're saying, man. It's a real friend. Nigga would have been like, yo, math on here? He said, yo, put that out right now. This is clickbait. I don't jam up. I don't even talk to niggas. So if I'm talking to you, I like you. So I'm not trying to jam you up. Mm-hmm. Right. I am the only podcaster that when people come, I say, Whatever you want to edit, let's edit it. Right. I'm the only one that does that. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. I'm telling I you, do I that. Am. Oh, please stop it. I do that. Stop it. What are you talking stop about? It. I do that. You stop know how this. many? You know how much shit there's that I'm plenty taking of dis- out of footage. There's been, sure, everybody has that, but there's been plenty of discrepancies with somebody coming up here and not liking. You know what I mean? Something like, that came okay, out. Name one. And how it, I won't because I'm not messy. See, because <laughs> you don't you don't have one. You don't have one. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. I, I saw him. Well, he said on Vlad, he said that. He said, no, on Vlad, Vlad he apologized said that. for coming off a certain way when the camera came on. That's what happened. Y'all can guess who I'm talking about. I'm confused. It's my man right there. I know you wasn't here yet. 
Right. No, right. matter of fact, you was there. He was there, but he wasn't for that there. episode. There you go. Oh, the yeah, Vlad yeah, Ransom yeah, okay. debacle. Oh, oh, stop yeah. it, man! Stop, man! Stop. stop. But nobody asked stop me to take nothing with, out the footage. Just, all I'm telling you is this is. Did, me. did Ransom to, tell you that he asked me to take something out? Uh no. All right then. then well, how we counting that? We can't count that. We can't count take that. Back. Can't count. That. I take it back. <laughs> I take it back. Sometimes all you need to do is throw it out there. <laughs> yeah. It ain't got to stick. The jury heard. <laughs> hey, strike it from the record. <laughs> the jury. Uh, they, jury heard what you said. <laughs> Since Flip couldn't make it, I would have. I would have liked if you brought Melissa Ford or something like. That would have been cool. You didn't ask me that. I should have. But you didn't. She's a vibe. She's a vibe. She's a vibe. That was a great decision. I think so. Bless you. I've been watching this since I was in prison on looking at King magazines and smooth. Okay, slow it down. Yeah. <laughs> okay, not like that. No, not, okay, like that. not like that. Not like that, Joe. No. All right. Yes. Once it's you mentioned prison, once you threw prison, yeah, into that, I, I know like, it's it automatic connection. Yeah, I get like, it, but no, not like that. Speaking just, of prison. Oh my god. Here we go. <laughs> oh my god. Here we go. Kai Sinat. Yo, hey. I don't. I'm not. Yo, listen. I'm gonna keep it real because I'm an ex prisoner. Wait, let me at least tell the people yeah, what's tell it, going man, on. I got something to say about that, man. So Kasanat is is doing a, a am I saying that? I feel like I'm saying it wrong. Kasanat. Sanat. But it's spelled with an A, right? So it's like Sanat. But they say Sanat. I could be the not. So it's Sanat Sanat. You didn't catch the word play on that. It's all good. <laughs> um, he's been doing a, a, a live seven day stream and a, a mock. Prison uh, detention center. center. Yeah. I'm not jacking yeah. that, bro. I ain't gonna, I Why ain't not? gonna lie. I, me personally, because I'm an ex prisoner, I'm probably, besides KK, the only person who's been in prison in here multiple times. And my thing is that don't make that shit look cool to be in prison. That's mm. my thing. Don't make it look cool to be sitting in there making a mockery off of, off of men that are in there really going through the struggle. You watch life? When yeah, I watched like and, yeah. And, uh, yeah how'd you I've feel watched about that, that plenty of times. How'd you feel about that? How did I feel about it? Yeah. It got me through my pain while I was in prison. So what's the difference between what he's doing? What's the difference is that they did it from a comedic standpoint, right? Right. And it was fine. But these kids who know nothing, absolutely nothing, I'm pretty sure Martin and, and How you know listen, Kai listen, never hold up. How you hold know up. Kai never did a bit? Hold up. I'm pretty sure Martin. And uh, Eddie did their homework. You understand what I'm saying? Like they're getting paid to act in a role, to act as people who actually been in there and portray the image of what actually happens in prison in that part of the, of the United States. Right. Right. And the pain and all of that shit came across. <clears throat> right. This shit we seeing on the internet is fucking comedy, straight comedy. Niggas sneaking shit in their drawers and coming through. Yo, you gotta eat this sandwich, bro. Da 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 da. Like, come on, bro. Like, I, I think that shit is disrespectful, bro. You want to eat your cornbread? Yeah, nigga, I'm eating my <laughs> cornbread. Yeah. But I don't, me personally, I don't agree with it. And that's me being a, a prisoner because there's a lot of pain and trauma that comes with that. Right. And it right. takes a lot to fucking come back from that shit. That shit is not to be played with. That shit ain't no joke. It's like niggas making the money. Like, them niggas need to go to a real jail. They need to go to Rikers Island. Live stream that shit. Go upstate New York to fucking Clinton. Go to Attica. Live stream that shit and let's see if you niggas gonna survive. That's a cool. That's my opinion. Trying to mask. Like yeah. what, what? What? Do that a lot. What? What are you saying? You play it safe, man. No, I wasn't even playing it safe. <laughs> I was talking. Now nah, he said, "Bless me," because I was not. Nah, he cold. coughed. Cough. Oh, sound right. like a sneeze. Oh, okay. Well, do you have a comment on this topic at on all? On the I mean, there's a do play it safe a lot. I play it safe do. because do I know it. how the internet Yo, works. Did you watch the last play. time? Like. Bro. There's a place to say, yeah. Right? But that's there's a. <laughs> <laughs> that's know what I mean? Right. I mean, look, I don't want to sound like the old nigga. I just don't understand it. It's funny to an extent, <laughs> right? But um, I don't get it. The joke about prison. No, I don't get it. And mm -hmm. I've never done prison time, but it's just I can get the humor. In, in some of it, but I don't, I don't understand it, personally. I'm not knocking it, you know what I mean? Because as soon as a nigga give his opinion, oh, you hating, you old nigga, you ah. I'm about to be 40. 
I don't understand it. It's Why they ain't got like, Bubba in the live stream? Who? Bubba. Who's Bubba? That nigga. Why they ain't got uh, him in the live stream? <laughs> you want to you portray this shit about prison and the shit that goes on there? You want to you highlight the little the little cool points and the shit that's going to make people oh, nobody's laugh? Getting, nobody's getting their cookies Let the nigga, the nigga that's 6'8", that got a shank, that come in your cell and take your shit. How about you highlight that? Don't I like every aspect of that Didn't they shit. invite, what's his name? Drewski? Drewski's Drewski. in there, yeah. Right. He's in there. But he's playing the funny the funny guy role. Oh, I thought that was... Nah, bro. They playing games, bro. They playing games for streams, viewership, and money, man. I don't... I don't me, personally, I don't like it. I think I think it's just a, 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 a young, young kids having fun. And I know that, 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 that it's, it's portraying the wrong thing. It's kind of like... Yo, prison is not really something to joke about. You know what I mean? There's a lot of people like like yourself that's gonna look at it and be like, "This ain't funny." You know what I mean? But for them, it's them having fun. It, the, you know, they, I they, get that part, man. Whole, but remember, I came in, I came to you and told you about an idea I had, right? Yeah. Called bunkies, right? Yeah. What you told me? Yeah, I told, I told you it was ridiculous. Exactly. Right. You told me it was ridiculous because it's like, who wants to be like, it's, it's like I say, yo, I'm going to invite Joe Buttons to come to the Bunkies podcast, right. right? And we're in a double bunk cell and me and you are conversing, just having a conversation, interviewership and all of that shit, right? Who's on the top bunk? If it's you and Joe. It'll be Joe. <laughs> Joe will be on the top. That's part of the show, though. No disrespect. Yo, look at my no disrespect. <laughs> but that's, that's part of the show. I'm going to take you. The whole thing is this. It's to highlight what really happens, what goes on, but we're in conversation. Yo, Joe, like, right? I'm not getting on the top I'm back. Watching, I'm washing the drawers in the sink. The CEO's bringing child to the cell. You understand what I'm saying? Right. We got to go to the yard, but the whole time we're having a conversation. We're getting to know each other better. Right, and whoa, I'm telling you whoa, about this. Whoa, not like whoa. that, man. Come on, man. <laughs> We're getting to know each other better, and at the same time, I'm sh I'm showing you the ills of this system, this right. institution, and why it's not for us, why right. it doesn't work, and it's just a business. Yeah, that's the conversation in this environment. Not oh, Joe just snuck a fucking whole fucking McDonald's fucking sandwich in his drawers, and he coming to give it to Chen. Right, and the and a BC hat. But if you got and a BC hat, <laughs> <laughs> but if you got a problem with that, then you got a problem with hip hop. Why is that? Because all hip hop does is glamorize jail and prison. That's all it does. That's mm. not true. Not not yeah. every five percent. Yeah, I'm talking not, about the not, majority. I'll be honest yeah. with you. When I heard Beanie Siegel, what's your life like? Yeah, that. That, but it, but that, but that, that, I'm saying that shit didn't make you want to go to jail. That's the exception. That's the exception. I've, I've, right. That shit didn't make you want to go to jail. That, no, that made you want to stay out of jail. Go to jail. It, shit he was saying on that record. Yo, oh, don't go to jail. Literally a first day want. out trend for the past however many years. First two. First day out. That's not glamorizing going to jail. It's glamorizing coming out. Oh, then we're not listening to what they're saying. Or just or just glamorizing the streets. If you glamorize, if you're glamorizing, glamorizing getting if you're glamorizing court get coming out. See, we conditioned wrong. If you glamorize and coming out, then don't you have to go in? Sure. True. What are you talking about? How many people are making records about coming out of jail? All of them that come out of jail. And, How and, many and, of and, those? and a lot of them that don't. Because you said hip-hop, which is a huge umbrella compared to the handful of people that just... But is it coming from a now. comedic standpoint? I'm not, talk, or is it but I'm not talking a... about a handful of people. I think it's a handful of people that's not glamorizing that. If you... I don't know. We come from the same hip-hop. So when did hip-hop not give niggas cool points and street cred and all types of other credibility from jail? When did that not happen? This I'm is not, revisionist like, history, which y'all talking no, about. Okay, no, no. <clears throat> real quick, niggas, sorry, hold on, hold on, real quick. So I'm not negating that part, right? But when was it taken to a comedic standpoint, musically? Where did you ever hear somebody on the record say something about a nigga going in or a nigga coming out and it was fucking hilarious? When they talked about the thing, the ills that went on. A lot of times when you hear it, hear it yes, it's being glamorized, right? Like, yo, my man just came home, I hit him with a pack, I gave him 20 thou, I took him shopping, this, that, and the 30, lit in the street. Mm -hmm. I agree with that part, yes. But you never heard it from a comedic standpoint where it made it seem like, yo, this is to be, yeah, a mockery. But if I was listening to a comedian who came out of jail, I would hear it in, in a comedic standpoint. But that's not what we're talking about here. 
We're talking about rap. We're not. No, we're not. Because we're said, not talking about a musician. Hmm. Right. Yeah. We're talking He's about talking about rap. I'm talking about hip hop, period. Hip hop does not glamorize going to jail. Mm -hmm. A lot of street niggas and street shit is synonymous yeah. with the music that's being that's made. That's by design, man. So yeah. I didn't say it wasn't. But of course, those guys are going to talk what they know. However, the hip hop that I listen to specifically, they don't talk that kind of shit. Red there, Man doesn't talk about There's that niggas that, that did, bitch, Method that don't even rap like, about it. Method Man doesn't talk about shit like that. Like, Heavy nice. D didn't talk about shit like that. Nas talked about Slick having Rick. people. Slick Rick did. Cool your rap talked about Any street day life. you want to hit the update button on the names that you're naming. I'm just talking. Okay, we, you so said we came dirt, from the same hip hop. Baby. I'm talking about the hip hop I came from. No, Heavy D didn't do all of that. I'm talking about the hip hop I came from. You said we came from the same hip hop. I know what you I'm mean, Joe. You're talking about the new like. version, like the little Dirks, the little you babies. Know, I don't come from that. I, we you don't come from that hip hop. That's not what we what we came. He specifically said we come from the same hip hop. He's talking about a specific time and era. I don't come from what they're doing today. I observe what they're doing today because of where I came from. Mm. So when I speak on it, I speak from a place of experience. Mm. You come from Arab and Rakim, right? I do. Who is sent, who? Do you come a, from? Do you come from? Do you come from MC Shan, KRS One? Totally. Okay, so you come from street organizations funding an artist. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Artists who did not talk about committing crimes to the level of going to jail or didn't glamorize. Didn't go, go, go if KRS One glamorized anything, it was not going to jail. Okay, but you're naming artists who we don't know to exist without street credibility. So you do come from that hip hop, that street credibility is valued in terms of breaking an artist, no matter what your message is. Street credibility, yes. Committing crimes specifically, doing the shit that they do in the street, committing crimes. Oh, no. same shit. I, same I, don't, I don't see that. So how do you get street credibility? How do you get it eliminating crime? I'm totally open to hearing it. How do you get street credibility eliminating crime? Yeah. <laughs> we stand up in a room full of people who commit crimes or, or not. Okay. It's a stretch. I've been doing it my whole life. That's a stretch. I've been doing it my whole life. That's a stretch. That's a stretch. You can't have yeah, doing credibility without yeah, putting yeah, 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 but no, when we you bring got up the black card in the street. When we Mac. bring up Mac, <laughs> when we that, bring up Mac, they say Mac is a stand-up nigga. They don't say Mac has street credibility. I don't who uses the term street credibility? Everybody. Everybody does. Everybody Everybody does. Come on, man. Come on, man. I'm quiet. Come on, man. I'm quiet. Everybody no, come on. Don't turn come on, man. Because Joe is here. No, nah, that's true. <laughs> no, but man. But man, nah, nah, that's true. I, you know, I got a purist view of Mac, and there's real. unpure shit going on. There's <laughs> unpure shit I, going on. I, I get I get Street what cred comes from putting in work. That's street cred. That's not the only place it, it comes from. I'm telling you. That's well, define work. Now we, now we need to get into definitions. If I point somebody in the face. If somebody tried to muscle me and I smacked him in the mouth. No. What now, is that? But, but Joe, there Wrong is there is a plethora of finish. people who got street cred for putting and working the street but never got went to prison for it. Oh, or never sure. got locked up. All I said was, Matt how Hopper. do you gain it without Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. 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 He didn't Allegedly. gain street cred without crime. This nigga assaulted mad niggas with cameras. <laughs> yeah, but with he never went to jail for it. I don't care. <laughs> It's a crime, is what it's, I'm saying. Did, did Eric B. and Rakim no, 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 have street cred? No, did, Eric, did Rakim have street cred? It's just stuff off camera. Eric B. Like has <laughs> Did Rakim have street cred? I was a child. I don't know. By that. default. I don't what? Know, not By to default. Me. I said, did Rakim have street cred? By default. Yes. He, he, I, I you say yes. I, I say yes. Yeah, because of who he was with. That's yeah. what I say by default. Yeah. Yes. I don't know him for that. So street cred without committing crime. Rakim. Oh, you just came back to my circle. Totally did. But he's stamped by. You said, but, but the fact is he had it and he didn't have to commit. But that's crime. my original point is that but, but there's you, value you in that cosign. That's, that's, that's where I okay, started. But, but he didn't have to commit crime. You but said, he had a nigga with him. But he, but he didn't have to commit Show crime. Show me the nigga who didn't have to commit crime, that didn't have nobody street credible that's next to him. That's an add on. That's an add on. Okay. Didn't have nobody no. with him. You're adding that on now. Yeah, you're adding that part on now. Before it was, show me somebody who has street cred without committing crime. Rock him. I said me. You said that wasn't good enough. 
You, you, but you brought up Rakim. Rakim don't commit no crimes, but he has street cred. He's respected by the gangsters. My point in that is Rakim may not be Rakim without that. May not. Street cred I gotta and hip hop. I got a feeling Rakim would argue this. Sir, if if I know Sham to have. 30 bodies, and I'm a hip-hop artist from wherever moving around, that may help me. That's sick. <laughs> I'm addressing sick thinking in hip-hop. That's where I am. Okay, so, so that's, show the that's the basic. <laughs> yes, this okay, is sick. Okay, okay. I wouldn't argue with you on that basis. It's sick. Uh, that's not the, that's, but Wait, that's not but where we're sick? disagreeing. Wait, what, but what do you think it's, about this? And sick? the second that a nigga come in hip-hop without street cred, y'all gonna laugh him at the building. Oh, that's true. That's why this ratting thing is a thing. That's why it's confusing out here now. We can't even keep up with this shit. Please. Please. Wait, wait hold on, hold on, hold on. You said the second a, a nigga come into hip hop without street cred, you're going to laugh him out the building. Nah. I wouldn't. Did anybody laugh Drake out the building? Are you joking right now? Drake is a Philly. Are you joking He's right going to He's gonna go to the The add-on was... Is this a joke? You going to the affiliations? Is this a joke right now? Are yes. you going to the yes, affiliations? To okay, all right, cool. Yeah. Right, yes, yes, understand, understand. Give me the person <coughs> not affiliated, didn't commit a crime, and just... J. Cole. Got it done. I mean, I would say J. Cole. <coughs> J. Cole. I would say J. Cole. His affiliation with Jay-Z would speak different. Once you throw on affiliations, it all gets different. That's a fact. Uh, you start throwing on affiliations, it all gets different. It's, it's, really, it's not really an affiliation. It really. is an affiliation, yeah. girl. Yeah. It can't, can't be nothing else but You don't got that many records with them. Oh, the so? This is a stretch. I want to know, what do you think and what does Joe think about that. that whole shit with Kanai Sanat and... And his, his, his name is Kai Sanat. Kai Sanat. Put okay. some respect on him. He's a he's huge. I got I got a, a huge amount fucking, of respect for him. Yeah, my kids <laughs> love Free him. Kai Sanat. That's not homophobic. All right, cool. Free Kai Sanat. I have a ton free. of respect for him. Free. Free him, free Drewski, and all of the other influencers <laughs> that's doing seven days in a fucking makeshift cell. No, right. I, I want to say shout out to Emily. <laughs> 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 but, but somebody need to teach you how to talk shit, my man. I don't know if y'all saw this clip where where um Kai was kind of like egging them on, like yo, we gonna talk shit to the people in the next cell. When I when I say SMD, <laughs> you say SMD, and then the other guy was like SMD, and then and Ali was like when. <laughs> that's pause. That's, that's, that's a super pause. Great. Nah, that's 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 a pause. See what I'm saying, man. And he like, kind of admitted like he don't know how to talk shit, shit like that. Like, so you know what I mean. I love them young brothers, man. Them young brothers are amazing. I think they're doing great oh, things, but it's cool. like, bro, at least get somebody that really been in jail. But that but this is the thing: we can't place the responsibility of of leadership and and thinking ahead and the influence on, on the young dudes. Because if you rewind time, like, all of us is doing some fuckery at their age. Correct? No. What? No. Maybe I, not you, Matt. But everybody I, else I mean, in here was, yeah, I mean, I was, was up to something. I was, yeah. Everybody else in here was up to something. Yo, that nigga. You know what I'm saying? saying? I was. Not at his age. I had a record. So, uh, again, y'all not <laughs> saying what y'all thoughts is about. And you were still doing bullshit. Doing this. Not with a record. Dude. You was Matt, pulling up on people's blocks. Joe, cut it out, man. Oh yeah, but I'm cut it out exactly. Wait, hold camera. on, hold on, time out, time out. Yo, let me tell <laughs> you. <laughs> hold on, let me tell you what we just Yo, did. Yo, man, what? I mean, Joe, like, Joe, like a fucking Joe. dude, like a fucking dude. What do you think, Joe? <laughs> Goofy shit. What do you think? What do I think about Carson and what, yeah, and what, what he's doing? doing with the jail shit? <laughs> oh man, I like it. <laughs> I like it's it. entertaining. It's right? entertaining. No, it is entertaining. It's young nigga it shit. It is entertaining. I like it's it. entertaining. It's I like it. Shit. I like it for many reasons. And if I didn't like it, then my problem wouldn't be with Kai Sinat. It would be with the people that fund him. It would be mm. with the people that are producing him, the people that are funneling ideas. That's that's a set, and it ain't cheap. Right. Right. Somebody yes. paid for that, and it wasn't him. So, but, I mean, I look at it like, I see how excited these young guys are to go spend the night at his house. Like, that's a new wave that you got to kind of <laughs> see it, assess it, and and appreciate. 
Right. An artist coming to spend the night <laughs> at my house. Yes. Right. Like that's some new age shit going but, on. Now here's the question. That's so thinking. when so when that guy gets bored of that, and you still have every artist in the world beating your phone down, and you're a streamer, so that that's I need to go live and this is how we do it. Right. Then yeah, you're gonna have to think of new and innovative ways to have your guests and keep your audience entertained. Now in light of that. And uh, it's like hip hop Hamilton, the blue faces, the <laughs> Kashans of the world is is entertainment heading towards the Truman Show. Entertainment has been at the Truman Show. Okay. It's been that way. I was in 2009 filming real time arguments with my girl. Yeah. Mm. This yeah. is the company's catching up. Mm -hmm. This is now monetization involved, but the creator has been here. Right. This is just now with deep fake and AI and and skits and dramatizations and it's a lot of fluff. Like you don't know what's real. I'm right. talking about Joe Smith and his wife earlier. My niggas is like, hey, that's fake. I'm like, I don't know if it's fake. But the bottom line is, who knows? <laughs> you now know. everything you see, you kind of really just don't know. That shit was right. fake. Huh? You don't know. They're no, saying no, it's, it they're fake. saying it's promo for her page. That's what my niggas said. They okay, so I don't like, necessarily so was the shit roll really with that. Was, was, the, was Jada? Was, no, wait, was, no. Yeah. Was all Jada and the Tupac shit promo for a book? Yes. Yes, yes. absolutely. Everything's yeah. promo. Will Smith killed Tupac. If we in America, <laughs> then then we in the land. That's my theory. Then we in the land of advertising. And if we in the land of advertising, then everything is an ad, and everything is marketing, and nothing is real. Right. None of that I came mean, out before the book. Nothing is real. Right. Everything's for sale. Fifty said it best. He said. Marketing runs America. So, so does yeah, maturity. Right. But does maturity put you in a place where you you see the downside to that? If the second you say maturity in the company's eyes, you lower the, you lower the dollar amount. Mm. Mm. You lower. We're not targeting niggas that's mature. Because they're, because they're not entertained by the simple shit. Ah, that's a fact. They're not entertained by the simple shit, so that's not going to work. And they got a little more thought behind how they spend their dollar. Because they're not entertained yeah. by the simple shit, so it's not gonna work. Kids, totally different ball game. They'll buy totally different anything. ball game. If we make it, if you make it look cool enough, if it make it look, you make it look sexy, they'll buy anything. Mm -hmm. I will hope that this this young brother Kasim Sanat is giving uh, some proceeds of what he's making to people who hold people down in prison. Oh, please. I'm just saying. I understand where you're coming from, but yeah. I'm just, that would this be nice. shit is real. It's like, a kind gesture. That'd be right. nice. But it's like, all right, you, you, you're getting paid off of this. How you feel about the jail shit and, and niggas that echo that sentiment is how I felt about him in Times Square. That was much worse. Well, you're talking about Union Square. Union Square, Union Square I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. Union yes, Square. Yes, yes. That was much worse than this, this yeah. Hamilton shit. Mm -hmm. Now you affecting 14th Street at trap rush hour while people was getting their kids from school, while kids are trying to go home, That's parents true. is in the car and you that that is unacceptable. He didn't community. know that, that that was gonna happen though. I, I, I don't, don't I don't, that, I, don't that. I don't buy that. I don't buy that. I don't think he I don't buy that. I don't I don't even I don't buy that. that. Even if he did, ignorance is what, not what, why don't you yes. buy it? A lot there was a lot so, of why don't I don't buy it. It was the first time he ever did something. Well, I don't think I don't think he underestimated his reach to that extent. You think he wanted to start? You think no you think nobody in his team knew that they needed to get permission from the cops to do that? I don't think they cared. You do that, you when you do something like that, the result is some sort of pandemonium. That's the result. Right. When you go out in Union Square at three to four o'clock and try to tell four people to meet you there, you have to expect for the worst case scenario in that. And if he don't know that, because I'm not putting this on him, then the people behind him, because right. that costs money, right. <laughs> do. He's, he's just a front man for an operation. <laughs> that was a mess. This is a, a backdrop and a skit and y'all playing around. That's man water. Yeah, I get it. That was real life people in in New York as a That was a bunch of kids though. That getting hurt. Yeah, what happened? Kind of what people, happened is listen, I watched the news. Listen, I watched the news every People coming from work. What happened when a nigga behind the car just had a bad day? Then this is the wrong time for y'all kids to be out of here. And now I'm running three of y'all over. Uh, it's 34th Street all over again. Yeah. 
I watch the news every morning, mm-hmm. and something wild like that is there. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, you are endangering people at this point. This shit Hell is, yeah. right, however you feel about call, it, nigga. nobody is in danger. Like, you kind of want to see, as music is decreasing in value, you kind of want to see rappers tap into an acting bag or a voiceover bag or a gamer streaming bag. Like, I'm tired of pigeonholing rappers to rap. Clearly, none of them want to rap. None of them. None of them want to rap. None of them want to rap. I, I, I beg to differ. And you can. I think that J. Cole definitely wants to rap. Oh, please. His name is going <laughs> to pop up like a hundred more times this episode, just in case you don't know. Just expect that to come. J. Cole. J. Cole. Who else want to rap? Kendrick. Kendrick. Kendrick, definitely. Oh, okay. The bar I think Drake want to rap, too. Never mind. I can't, <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't have this talk with y'all. Y'all got it. I think Drake <laughs> want to rap, too. You got it. What was your problem with the Dogs album, bro? It wasn't that. It wasn't that. She wasn't for me. It wasn't for you. I like it, but right. it's not for me. Mm-hmm. He didn't. Those two things can exist. I Who? like it, and it's not for me. Is is you know, that's a personal song on preference it? thing? Uh, right. Yeah, first uh, person. Shooter. I like I like that I like that whole run from one to five. Uh, I like first person sh- uh, the J Cole shit, but I like the shout out man they like shout out man they like. That's my shit. That shit was hard. That shit is hard though. It's hard shit on there. Yeah, I like the party yeah. record. Yeah, I like everything cool, except so. for maybe the last so, four songs, three songs. So why'd you crucify him like that? I didn't he, he crucify, didn't crucify him. him. I didn't crucify him. He didn't crucify him. him. He just well, in my told the nigga stop dating 25-year-olds. <laughs> he said stop hanging around. <laughs> like, what, what's, what's wrong yeah, with Yeah, niggas that? like to hang on to my words because, you know, you just say shit in the moment. I talk for a living. I understand it. But, what, what else are we... But pause. If you put, pause. But if you, but if I don't know what it, else we supposed to hang on to, but you get paid to speak. That's homophobic. So... <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. And we're back. <laughs> and we're back. I didn't take no, that. Got it. Got it. Got it. Niggas. Stupid. 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 <laughs> What's wrong with dating 25 year olds? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. If that's what you want to do, then do it. Right. They grown. That's not it. You're con- yeah, that's you're contradicting. Yeah. No, I'm no, not. No, I'm not. not. No, because he, you he did. He said, stop. I said, stop hanging around. You see, I ain't gonna you seem kind of amped up when nah, you talk about it. I'm a Drake fan, so I get passionate when I talk about Drake. It's mm-hmm. not more than that. I like I like Drake. Did you hear West Side Guns album? Yes. No, it's not move off yeah. this Drake thing yet. No, no I'm, I'm trying to say in comparison. That's what I compared. Those two albums, I compared them to each other. Well, West Side is the Drake of drug dealers. The Drake of drug Nah, nah, you're bugging. The Drake of drug dealers? You're bugging. Yeah. West Side stands alone, bro. He's a Drake of drug dealers. He stands alone. The Drake of drug dealers. <laughs> Wow. Yo, that's what yeah, was my man. Yeah, play it safe, man. <laughs> it's a hot play topic. Safe. <laughs> play it safe. It's a hot topic. This ain't going to say shit about it. <laughs> nah, I told him like that when he was here. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good one. You're on a Drake of drug dealers. Everybody wants to be around you. Everybody wants to. Everybody's down to do a collab with you. Everybody's down to hop on a beat. I can't say that because he's big in the I think he's big I can't say that. Though. And you're talking in, in. You're talking a completely different lane. I talk a completely different content, but in that lane, you're that guy for that space. I can't mm. say that, Mecca. That's not true. I don't need you because to. Because he's big in the, he's big in the yeah. art world, bro. Yeah, that, I, I, don't need, I don't need. I don't need. I don't need you. To, I don't need you. No, to I'm agree. saying that's that's what I feel. I, I can take it. I know how you feel. Yeah, that's I told him how I felt. Difference yeah. in opinions. You said the Drake of drug dealing. Drake of drug dealers. So then, what's Pusher? Mm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. The break moveth. Yeah, push it so he no, talked about his, no, 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 the, no, no, the no. rapper comp. Yeah, that, that, that. He's, he's the I'm t- not mad at what he's saying he's about what I just want to hear. Of where, drug where, where, yeah, he's yeah, the T.D. Jakes <laughs> of drug like dealers. And I don't have <laughs> another name to ask about when it comes to like the drug dealer rappers. It's Hove and Push is the bar for me. Yeah, yeah. he yeah. might be. Really? You don't That's, throw Jeezy in there? Yeah, but it's Hove and Push. He might be cold. He might be cold. For that, for that, he might be cold. Who? That was fly. That's interesting. He might be J. Cole. That's interesting. Who? J. Cole of drug dealing. Push the T. Push the T is the and J. Cole of drug dealing. Even if you flip it. Nah, I can't, yeah. go, I can't get with that. Even if you flip Talking it. Talking about rat wise. No, no, no man. It's T.D. Jakes and drug dealing. That's <laughs> Let's leave it there. Niggas. <laughs> the break I, I think. I think Cole. <laughs> I'm not mad at him. I'm, I'm not mad at him. Tell Hash Yo Fury. 
Yo, this preacher's turning over in the fucking brain. He doesn't really need anybody with him to do what he's doing. (laughs) He's been maintaining the same lane all this time. Everybody loves him and respects him for what he does. I love J. Cole. Even if they want to call it repetitive, it still scores. And his fans are his fans, and they don't go anywhere. And I love Push, man. You love Push? Likewise. As a human. Rapper, yes. Even better human. I feel like I need to hear more than just the drug talk, bro. Like, I I get... You may not get it. I get... I don't. I get kind of tired. Oh, I, I mean, he flips mean, it in different yeah, ways. I, mean, I like his shit. Yeah, but bro, you know what slept on? Bro, you, bro. Yo, I mean, I was like, just about to say, you know what slept on about Push? A lot, lot of fashion. fashion. Shit. It just the go over niggas. A lot right? of fashion. Yeah, and, and that's gonna get slept yeah, on when you're standing next to Kanye West. Shit. That's gonna get slept on. Uh, you he, gotta be a little. He bit, talk fashion. Gotta be a little bit. He he was talking that way before though. Like ice cream bait. He was. Back then, it was yeah. before him and Kanye yeah, was ever thought. He might have put Kanye on to rapping a little more about that. Common, somebody put Kanye on, but Push does it. Push does it. I don't think so. Kanye went to school for that shit. He wasn't rapping about it. He went to school for that. What I got to do with rapping? The first oh. album was about drugs. Because he out of was backpacking then. They don't, it's not a fashion thing with them. Nah, he was talking about Louis Vuitton and Polo. Yeah, he was the Louis Vuitton dog. Right. Okay. That was and they was shelving that shit. It was a show for that. Why not? Rockefeller want to hear that shit. You ain't see the doc. You ain't see the doc. <laughs> Nigga running Carlene in the office with all that. <laughs> hey, Carlene, I mean, hey, hey, we got you, big dog. We got it. What the fuck you talking about? <laughs> I think for that the purposes true. of the doc. Imagine uh, Kanye trying to pop with the two polos on in Rockefeller 50th Street heyday. Mm, yeah. That's tough. It's tough. It's a task. Mm. But like, it's still, it's still we got moved, re- though. It's still it moved. did, but we. But that's why he's the man. Like I don't want to revise history. He had to go through it. He couldn't just pop out in his bag. He had to go sit with most, sit with Kanye, sitting. The, yeah, he had to go and learn how to fucking do it, and then he left. That's a fact. I love that we could talk hip hop like this. Here, I don't talk hip hop with people. I don't. I don't. What else you got? Come on, Drake. What? <laughs> Come on, you ain't finished yeah, your Drake yeah, shit. Yeah, I ain't finished the Drake shit. Get, get back to Drake. Drake <laughs> gonna take it out of here. How'd you feel about you. his response? Uh, I mean, I didn't see it when it happened. I didn't see it when it happened. But when you eventually did? It, it was a lot. It was a lot? It looked like a lot. I was a whole... <laughs> I'm, I'm not reading all this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not reading all that. That, that. that was the first thing that I wrote back, but I thought that comments. that would come off wrong. Say it again? What? That was the first thing that I wrote back, but I erased it. What? I'm, I'm not, not reading all this. I'm not reading all this. <laughs> but that's dismissive and that's gaslighting. Yeah. So I erased it. Right. And I was just, I said something that was kinder. I said something that was kinder. But that was a lot. You did a lot for, again, I'm coming and thinking that I didn't, I didn't wild out. To me, I didn't wild out. No, nah, you didn't. To <laughs> me, I didn't wild out. But Moon, Moon Music 27 was crazy. <laughs> it was crazy. That was funny. <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. But it also it also acknowledged for me anyway that these niggas be my sons. <laughs> these niggas are my children. You can't move music twenty nine me if I'm dad. Mm. I see footage. I see footage of Drake mm. shouting you out, though. Yeah, that's why I, I had to come up here and talk to this nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I had to come up here. I see, I see some things being said. I see some footage though of Drake saying it's an honor. You know what I mean? I showed you that yeah. footage. Yeah, I showed, yeah. I showed, I showed it. Yeah, we saw the footage. Yeah, I sent it to him. I sent it Listen, to him. And when a nigga write a long ass paragraph like that, he love you. He Drake cares. Knows time he cares. We, we we love cares. each other. If I if I if I come off in a way where. I'm hating or don't want the best for him, then I've, then I've misrepresented myself. Right. I'm, I'm a fan and want to see him eclipse. I want to see him do it. So mm-hmm. if I didn't come off that way, then that's my fault. Mm-hmm. And that's it. Mm-hmm. But you didn't say nothing wrong, though. As I, you know what I mean? I seen shit. I was like, yeah, he didn't really say nothing bad. He was just basing his stop, opinion. Stop fucking 25 year olds. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> Why? But it's not, it's not crazy. That quick. It's, it's not crazy if you listen to the album. See, but I also know that most people are not listening to right, albums. Right. So I'm the only one coming in like, did you hear this? Did you type this? Did you hear this over here? It's like, niggas ain't doing that. Niggas, I ain't gonna lie. You niggas you jamming, to catching a vibe. Mm-hmm. But when I'm listening, it's, it sounds like somebody that's not having a great time fucking 25-year-olds. 
He's not having fun. They, they spinning this nigga to death. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's like, at some point, at some point, nigga, like, hey, nigga, you was a billionaire. See, that same energy you have for me, I'm a fan of that. So I want to see that right. across the board. You, Don't you, just have it when you're mad. He the best nigga in the world when he mad. When he beefing with Push and Kanye and them niggas, it's bars coming. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's, bars. it's, it's on the way for years. Yeah, well, facts. Facts. yeah, so I like that. I like that. Don't just diss me. Diss everybody. <laughs> <laughs> diss everybody, nigga. Get this shit rocking. <laughs> Yo, you know what's crazy? Yo. I was watching uh, a couple docs on a uh, big pod, uh, 50, and it just, I started to get this, this epiphany that, yo, know, nobody really gets to that level without having some sort of drama. Like, Jay when you, when you break down like Biggie and, and everything that he was going through with, Nas and and Pac and it was like once he once he had a once he became like the acclaimed king of New York, everybody was just teaming up to take, take him, him down. down. You know yeah. what I mean? You had Ghost and Ray with the skits throwing like little shots here and there. You had Nas who was supposed to be cool with Big hanging out with them and doing songs with them. And then mm-hmm. Big is like, yo, you fucking with these niggas? These niggas taking shots at me. Oh, okay, all y'all niggas want it? All right, cool. And then you get the kick in the door joint. And I wasn't realizing that Big was throwing Nas's daughter into the rhymes of victory. Yo, man, destiny lays in my hands. And that lays in the mind. I'm like, oh shit, this whole shit was just built on I want to say friendly competition, but it wasn't always friendly competition because you heard the, the stories behind the scenes uh, of people showing up to studios and getting pummeled and shit like that. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, you know, it kind of made had me thinking like, did I have like hip hop wrong? Did I think at a young age that it was possible that you could get into this shit and you could just be good at rhyming and make it to the top? Or did you have to go through some fucking secret wars with everybody in the fucking industry? More money, more problems. No, but the hip hop was built off of beef. Off yeah, of but, battling. But, but you it's realize, like, okay, the, not the, when it started. That's, that's what it was in, built. In. Not the, when it started. One of the biggest yeah. artists in the Extra world shit. that hardly gets mentioned in the top ten. Fifty Cent. If you go back and you look at the timeline, you see how many niggas he was beefing with. Like throughout his whole career, it's like, damn, dog, like niggas can't just get along and <laughs> and sell millions of records. Like, this shit is it's, it's kind of fucked up. Well, 50 had a strategy though. That's a little different. Yeah, I, he, I, I 50 he had a strategy. He, he was, he was, he, when he came in, pause, he was shitting on a lot of niggas. That, you know what I mean? How to rob the he, industry niggas. That was some his niggas, strategy. But some niggas took that personal. Right. Wu- That's Wu-Tang on them. Took that person. That's on them to take it personal. That was his strategy. Like, yo, I'm over here. I need to get up here. You niggas is in between. So I'm going to talk about you niggas and I'm going to get on. Because y'all going to be forced to that respond. That was fire, though. That was a strategy, bro. He didn't have personal beef with none of them niggas prior to that. I don't know if any of them he really didn't care, took it bro. personal. Wu took it personal. Uh, compared to what they could have done. But, but, it was it, took but it not necessarily because then when they run into him, Exactly. It's, it's handshakes and hugs. Right. Exactly. That's like, Big was even throwing shots at Jay-Z really, that really, I didn't really, know about. Um, on what? Uh, conscience of your nonsense in 88. So more powder than Johnson & Johnson mm. partner. I'm still spending money from 88. The lock said mm. Big was taking shots at him on records they was on together. That's different. Nah, it, it all feels same. like competition to me. It's Friendly all, conversation. It's all competition I mean, without tennis. That's what hip-hop is. 50 was trolling. Bro. But he was the first person we saw trolling at that level. He, I just looked at him like as the original. Uh, blueprint I don't know the about trolling. the level of this trolling, man. When you see him, motherfuckers getting slammed on their head. Who was getting slammed fucking, on their head? Oh, uh, gunplay. But that was after you talking about. I'm talking about when he what came mean in. This the, after. I'm talking about when he came in the game. He came in trolling. That all that looked like trolling. And if he had to keep that going in order to, which he didn't. 
If he not, needed to no, keep No, he back. pretty much did. Gunplay, I said, gunplay if he got needed. slammed on his head because he was like around it, like trying to attack niggas type shit. I That's said if he, he needed to keep head. it going, which he did not need to keep it going, because at that point, the point we're talking about, he was super successful. All right, are the biggest hip hop, uh, uh, are the, the, is hip hop success, success in this rap game built on, on how people perceive you as far as uh, uh, handling beef and, and, and like someone said the reason why battle rappers don't, don't really like do it like that with music is because you see these guys being confronted and being screamed in their face and nothing happens. So it kind of takes away from the, the aura of who they could be musically. It doesn't make nah, as much money as it they, would. They, you know what I mean? Y'all just regulated. viewed in a certain light. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Don't say y'all, please. No, ba battle rappers. Yeah. Battle rappers is viewed in a certain... So like, there's certain people that just want to hear y'all battle. They don't want to hear y'all do music. They just want to hear y'all battle. Like, this is what y'all do. But, but, but the question I'm asking is, if lyrically, you're able to put together these disses, but you're not actually tough, which we find out down the line, 90% of these niggas ain't. Right. It's that area, that gray area of, oh, these niggas really might be street. They really might clap it out. They merely, is that what's really creating a mystique that makes people interested in these careers, in their well, careers? It just depends on the character. I believe it builds anticipation. <clears throat> it builds anticipation of what can be. So in the regular, the regular labels, they have all the marketing dollars in the world, all the advertising dollars. They have people sitting in the office and saying, we're going to take this piece and put this piece over here. This is going to create this, and this is how we're going to make our money. So is hip-hop from its foundation was always based off of beefing or competing in some form or fashion because it brings crowds. It brings people out to see what the fuck is going to happen. Right, but uh, were our forefathers... I don't want to say uh, clout chasers, but there was a lot of this shit going on. Mm, that's just for the sake of competition. For the sake of competition. I think but most it, of but that it's not friendly really competition. competition. I mean, shit. There's basketball games where they're supposed to be friendly competition, but them niggas is fighting. It's competition. It's just shit get heated. It's just right, it but that, that doesn't... That doesn't say who wins the championship. Like if you punch fifty niggas in the face on a basketball court, you don't automatically get a ring at the end of the season. You dig what I'm saying? It's friendly competition is a myth. It's a myth. Mm. Doesn't exist. It's not friendly at all. It's not real. What's not real? Friendly competition. Why not? Why? Where's the friendly part? Yeah. Most of the rappers, when I came in, I thought it was a competitive space. I thought that there was a thing like just rappers wanted to be the best rapper. Why did I think that? But rappers quickly explained to me that you can affect my bottom line with the things that you say about me. And that could affect my career, could affect how I'm viewed, perception, my fans. And, and if that's in play. In the bag. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if those things are in play, then it can never truly be friendly competition. Right. I get when we get on the court, we can be friends in the locker room. But when we get on the court, if I go too crazy on Mech, your GM might come talk to you after the game. Like, that affects your real life. It's not friendly anymore. <laughs> Unless you're winning. <laughs> unless both, unless, unless, unless but, everybody. But it's not winning. friendly if you're winning either. Oh, yeah, sure it is. Sure, it's super friendly. I, I, I beg to differ. If because, I'm winning, uh, it's all friendly. <laughs> if I'm, but again, I'm now, winning, it's all two of the biggest that, winners lost their to, life behind. You get back shit. to eight percent of hip hop. <laughs> That's a true statement. Man. I think. I think that the the angle that you're coming from is mostly Fifty Cent, as far as like you have to cause a bunch of it's shit. Not. It's not. It's Tupac. Tupac and Biggie. Okay, that's that's two guys. Nas didn't do that. I'm sorry, was Kerry West one thought launching motherfuckers off the stage? That was after he was already established. Nas didn't do it. He was already that guy when he when he ran down on PMB. All right. You guys, you 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 know, you you you're from a different era. I began to acknowledge KRS one when he was dissing niggas. He always he was always dissing niggas. Yeah. He didn't get physical till that till that thing yeah. you're talking about. But he was always competing. He came out going at MC Shan's neck. But it wasn't on some, 
it wasn't on some trolling shit. It was on some there can be only one, and I'm KRS, and you're the top dog, and I'm going to go with the top dog because exactly. that's why I believe but I believe. Is that exactly. the, the, the repetitive marketing strategy that's of all comp- the top dogs in the game? That's competition. It could that's, be. Com- that's competition. Could be. And MC Shan accepted the challenge because he was a real MC. It wasn't, it wasn't profitable for him to do it. It wasn't smart for him. To, he, didn't, he, he didn't have to. He could have ignored KRS-One and we'd never hear from KRS-One again. He could have ignored him completely. Mm-hmm. He, he did it because the art calls for competing with the best at the highest level at that time. I'm not talking about now where Joe is speaking on, you can affect my bottom line. Shane got his bottom line affected mm-hmm. by acknowledging KRS-One, period. Right. He didn't have to, though, is my point. He had how do you how because do you he was do that? He, because what he was already it? where he was, and uh, if he'd ignored this little startup nigga from the Bronx, nothing would have nothing. Would, he wouldn't have been affected at all. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't think he would have stopped that record. In the same way that Ja Rule tried to ignore Fifty, and by different the time era, he responded, different it times, was too late. Different era, different time, way more exposure. The stakes are way higher. We talk about a complete two different eras. Right. And and the eras matter. The time frame matters. Well. With what I was watching, it made me reassess my, my, my thought process on who the top dogs was. Because now I started looking at who was able to get there without doing this shit. And only one name, as far as like motherfuckers that, cons- was, that was considered at the top of the game at one Shame. point. No. 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 It's not, not Drake. Him either. I ain't saying Drake. Well, you're close. Okay. Not him either. It's not Jay. It's not Jay either. <laughs> Jay definitely had to take that shot at Nas, and he was taking shots at a whole bunch of other people along the way. Mm-hmm. Wayne. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. Wayne is the only motherfucker that, that kind of like Tai Chi blocked off the beef and rose to the top. What about the What about DMX? Ja Rule. Too. Nah, it was after. Ja Rule, and he was taking shots. DMX yeah. was going at everybody. Yeah, uh, he yeah. Asked, he the only, only insult I remember was to, to, to K Solo. And he, no, he, he blocked his beat out. No, no, nah, he came that's that's whole. That was after. That, that was after. And that we talk about getting to the top. Y'all, your, your, your timeline, I'm not, I'm not understanding the timeline. DMX was already who he was when he did everything that we're talking about doing. So, like, I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. It was just in K Solo on his first album. But even even then, he blocked the name out. Like we no, had he didn't. Had no, he didn't. That when you yeah, heard yeah. the whole K Solo. No, you heard it because everybody know heard that. I'm not the only that nigga that heard K Solo. No, that shit wasn't on the radio when he performed. It wasn't on the radio, but on that's the, my point. Yeah, and no, you, you, I think you're the version that, that you're that familiar with the real record. That nigga K can suck my dick. Right. That's the that's, that's the actual that. joint. But that he. <laughs> We, but I think we had a version. We, we had, had we had a version. We had the version. Right. That's yeah. that real name. We that was on a clue tape. Yeah. It was on a clue tape. We he, heard it. He didn't get Who's K? He didn't Who's K? K. He, he said K solo K. on the on the actual joint. We didn't know the point is the, the radio masses, edited the masses didn't know that he was insulting an MC in order to get and get at me dog went hard without that line. That that song yeah, was yeah. crazy okay, without agree, that. Line. I'll agree with that. Mm-hmm. That's not what made the song, and therefore he, that beef is not what made his career. I, however, I don't like the Wayne example either. You don't like the Wayne example? I who? I mean, I didn't start to think of who. I just don't like the Wayne example. Aside from Jay Z, one or two shots at and Gilly, he came at home. Where? That was later. Where? I know it was later. Where? Man. I know well, it was where? Later. Okay, we we. But we're I'm talking just, about Lil Wayne. So Lil I'm Wayne just came Wayne. Out, trying to come at home. To... Lil Wayne came at home on uh, the greatest rapper alive, the mixtape, bro. When he did the "Show Me What You Got" over, because he rapped on his beat. No, he was coming no, he, at he him. Said, bro. What was his lines though? That that made yeah, him. What's when specific, it comes, what's his line? he said he said. Um, no, I remember what you're talking about. He you had know what two, I'm talking about, he right? Had two years where he was sending little subtle shots. Over. Yeah, bro. When he was doing all those mixtapes, the dedication one, two, three. He, he had, he had that, a little run. He was coming where he was. Hey, Mr. Carter. That's why he made the greatest rapper yeah, alive. They both was on that song, so that don't count. No, but this is what I'm saying. He came at home, bro. He said, uh, "But what was the line?" And when it comes down to this recording, I must be LeBron James if he's Jordan. Mm. 
I'm not talking about that. Like, that's that's not a shot. No, bro, yeah, every yeah, bro, that was. That's a shot. That's a shot. That's that's a shot. That's a shot. I'm a bro, even if you Jordan. Bro, hold even acknowledge this. You was you was the guy at that time. I'm the guy at this time. Bro. That's all he's saying. But it's a shot though. Bro, bro. even acknowledge that, bro. That's a shot. And that was it was short lived. It was short lived. It didn't last long. Yeah, it's true. Because you turned around, they was on stage. In comparison. Because then Hove was like the mixtape Wheezy, and that was the end of that. So it was, in comparison so that, to everyone else. Is that friendly competition? Of course. When those two were traded? Yes, that's, that's... But that's not a trade. That... Because no. where's the whole vlog? That wasn't friendly Coming competition. What is that called? Oh, uh, you little niggas ain't deep, you dumb. Oh, just regular Niggas ain't gangster, you gum. I chew little niggas, hot too, spew little niggas. No, I can only view little name, niggas bro. like little niggas. But then little, <laughs> little, little niggas, niggas try to play that boy. boy. I pew, pew. Little, little niggas, niggas with the latest toy. I like you, you little nigga. nigga. I'm a grown <laughs> ass man. Yeah. Big shoes to fill, nigga. <laughs> grown ass <laughs> pants. <laughs> Probably yeah. hustle, hustle with your pops. pops. Go, Go ask, ask your, your parents. parents. It's apparent. You're staring at a legend who put a few little niggas in their place Stop before. Try to eat without saying they grace <laughs> before. Blast this basket, get your face restored. restored. Y'all viewing your version, version of the Lord. Lord, MC little nigga, applaud. All oh, forever burn in the fire that I spit at y'all. Oh, you talking to Jim all niggas. niggas. The meat shall perish. I'll roof you, niggas, you little nigga. Oh, <laughs> I'll roof you, little nigga. I, I still niggas. say Lil Wayne is, is, is the guy who was at the top. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, man. Yo, because Hope is like six foot something and Wade is so I'll roof you a little. <laughs> something about that. So you sure that was that. about Weezy? No, no, it I'm not sure. It was about abundance of niggas. No. It was about a bunch of niggas. That's when you dropped the S. Dot called in volume three. Lil Wayne. And then he did that surprise Lil concert nigga at, at the, the um, whole band thing. Theater. Like Jada King. We did the, um, balling, the balling song over. That was at the BM Theater in Brooklyn. But, 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 but can we all little agree, little, one, little Wayne is probably the one who was at, at the top of the game with the least amount of beef? Nope. No. Why? I think the least amount? I, I, I can I agree with I that. I don't jack that. What, you beef with Baby? Like, but that's his, that's home team. That. I don't even count how that. You know, how, you, how you put him on that list? The tour bus got shot 70 times. That's a fact. Wait, what? The two of us got shot 70 times. What do you mean? No, he didn't have no people beef? beefing at, at him, not the other way around. Yeah. It doesn't uh, matter. Uh, it's, if you, it's just beef. I'm, he, he's talking about I, drama. Yeah, you in beef. Drama. <laughs> that's beef. So that's drama. And that's not why I don't count him. Wayne was 12. <laughs> 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 Wayne, came in, Wayne was 12, Yo. 13 years old, was in a group, and was protected from from bullshit by the people that co-signed him mm -hmm. until he got of age and ended up beefing with the niggas that protected him from all the shit. So I don't I don't count him. Mm. Okay, well, let help me get your point together. Didn't Nelly right. buy? I was under the there's Nelly. And then Wayne had that thing with Thug. Oh Man, yeah, that yeah. was later though. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, but, but that's, but that's what's confusing wax? me about this is wax? the timeline. Was it on wax? I, from no. what I'm understanding, was, what you're wax. saying is outside. to yeah. get to the top, you have to have beef or yeah. some kind of drama. Pretty much. Right. No, no, to maintain. That's some different sort of from what you said before. Maintaining is different than, than getting no, to the top. No, I was talking about all the rappers who are at the top. Had it to is, go through some sort yeah, of it, war. There are no rappers at the top that didn't have some type of that Issue. turmoil that they had to handle. Wait, right. wait, wait, wait. There's one other name. Was Kanye dissing niggas? Uh, oh, at the, the, the beginning of his career? Nah, at not at the any point of his career. Uh, Definitely not yeah. at the beginning. Yeah, he was. He just Drake. He just. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he just I'm a few tripping. people, bro. I'm tripping. You talking about me? He just the whole fucking industry, if you want. <laughs> Anybody at the top got to guard their position, man. That's mm -hmm. a fact. That, and that's, that's just what, what it is in hip-hop. That's why there's no friendly That's just what it is in hip-hop. If that's what you're saying, and if that's the point you're making, then I, I completely agree. Because if Cole is doing what he's doing to people while he's on the track with him, Kendrick is doing what he's doing at the BET, free, at the BET Cypher, which was monster, then yes, I agree. Everybody finds their... Uh, closest nemesis and decides to, hey, just so you know, if you try it, this is what's <coughs> going to happen. Well, uh, control. 
I was just about to say yeah, that. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm with the control. Yeah, on the control. Now, the thing that always bugs me out about the control. getting boring in the game. That's why he did that. The thing that always bugs me out of I, bugs me out about control is all you right. The people who, was on it? the people who kind of rose up out of that was J Cole, Drake, Big Sean. No, he mentioned Big Sean in that song. I know he did. It was did. Big Sean's song. I know he did, but for some reason, people don't take Big Sean serious. Big Sean smoked that record too. He did. Yeah, he did. It he was smoked. his record. He went off on yes, that. it was he his record. record. Yeah. Niggas but why, take Big why is... Sean serious? They take Big Sean serious. You don't think these niggas take him serious? <clears throat> He's not really named. Why? Yo, Gat, niggas take Big Sean serious? Nah. Yeah, they do. Nah, it depends on, it depends depends on who you are. It depends, depends on who you listen to. That's like saying <laughs> Chance the Rapper. That's almost like saying Chance the Rapper. Like. People take Chance the Rapper seriously. I don't think that's the same. Yeah, it's yeah. too different. To the people, that don't, yeah, to the people that don't yeah. take Big Sean seriously, if I wanted to, I could play something that's going to make you take him seriously. Yeah, yeah, but you know what I mean? Everybody had a moments, though. Sit down. Be humble. Sit down. Hold up, bitch. Who was that? Be humble. Who was it Sean? Who was it Sean? No. Well, they say no. But not not discrediting him. He nice. No, I like lie. I like what he, they you know what I mean, brings to the game and all of that. But he I hate when them niggas lie to yeah. me too. <laughs> them niggas will call my phone to tell me to lie. <laughs> and then I got to sit there and be like, you're lying. <laughs> like, I listen to too much rap for you to be able to tell me certain shit. And then a couple, couple months or years later, be like, oh, what do you, what do you know? <laughs> oh, we have the leaked Kendrick track where he says, fuck Big Sean. Like, oh. You don't say. Yeah, but it does exist. That's crazy. Everybody, you, if, if that's the point, everybody maintains their position. Like he's saying, I completely agree. I, I can't name anybody who's not gone at someone else eventually who was closest well, in there. Well, Joe, season. what year you came into the game? Uh, officially? Yeah. Uh, my debut was in 03, June 10th, 2003. Did you endure, endure that landscape of? I beat for everybody. This is not a rapper that's beat for more people than me. <laughs> <laughs> I beat for the most. This is not a rapper. <laughs> hold on, hold on. This is not, this 50. Not a, no the way. Game. No way in The God. game, 50. definitely. The game. The no game way. ain't got more, yeah. more, more, nah. more people than you? Let's go through it. Let's go through it? Let's go through it. How many people? How many people, Joe? Who the game beef with? You, of course. Me, G Unit. You beef with, that's that's you four. Beef, you beef with Dr. Dre. Bleak. At a point. Bleak. Jay Z. Jay Z. Jay Z. Eminem. Y'all just naming people. Nah, that's no, all. No, no, this nigga we naming this nigga. It's public, that's, nigga, it's public he, Joe. Like, he dead like he, he had problems with it. Jay Z has though. never acknowledged the game. He did. When? Yes, he the, did. Um, the summer song. The Dead Summer Drunk. Dead Summer. He that was for games. Dead yeah. Summer. Yeah, he said um, Bleak don't, don't gotta rap time. no more. He's somewhere in my will. What does that have to do with the game? That's the that, that, that was that was Jay Dissing. That was Jay Dissing game, but game says something about him. Oh, I don't know that. Y'all yeah. teaching me. He did, I'm telling he did, you. He, let's say, let's summer. say on average, he did about six. That's a different than the one you're quoting. Dear Summer, he doesn't say Bleak ain't got it. Bleak is in my will somewhere. That's a different song. That's the Diamonds of Every Yeah, yeah. 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 No. Um, um, what's, what's that joint? Um, that's just on Bleak album, Dear Summer. That's probably what you thought about it. I think it was a freestyle. I say Dear Summer was a game disc. No, it wasn't. No, no, it was something else. That's not the right song. No, it's not the right song. But um, what's the name of that shit, man? I don't know Hov to have ever acknowledged the game. Yeah, I don't think Hov. So when y'all name about people, to Google it. I'm talking about like yeah, a back did. and forth. Oh, He's okay. All right. I'm that's talking about different. a back and forth. The people who responded to you and you. Yeah. Okay. I have had back and forths with everybody. From Drake to Wu-Tang to G-Unit to Jay-Z to Saigon to Ransom <laughs> to fucking who else? I can name a bunch of them out. I'm, I'm just names I'm forgetting. I mean, though. Um, like I do, do this, I do this in my sleep. I just beef. That's crazy. <laughs> That's Ill. Why? Why what? Why? Why beef? Why not? I'm not like that today. But I mean, I came in thinking the rap game was one way. Right. It was so a liberal I had competition. The wrong, I had the wrong understanding. Right. Did you want to sharpen your sword with them? 
Always. Like, pause. Pause. I never beef. Pause. I never beef. That's with not a pause. You reach him, bro. Sharpen your sword. <laughs> it's not a pause. I, I, I never beef with niggas I didn't respect. Sword. I never beef with niggas. Sharpen your sword is a pause. Y'all niggas is reaching. So you were you were having friendly competition. In your mind, it was friendly competition. Yeah, I was yeah, in my mind, but I was ignorant. I didn't I didn't I didn't know how other people viewed it. I didn't know how other people viewed it. Yeah, I was off. That doesn't make it wrong. What was wrong though? What was what was I rap I rap better than most of the people I was ever rapping against. So if I if I continue to win this you will be viewed different or I'm going to say something that I think I introduced the game change of heart shit when I beef with him. Nobody knew that. Beef with who? Game. The game. The game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was me. Yo, they change your heart. Ain't this you, big dog? <laughs> That's hurtful. <laughs> that could affect record sales. <laughs> That's not okay. Yeah, fit, fit That's not okay to do. And, he used and I wouldn't want somebody to do that to me. Like, that's not. Yeah, you took it off wax at that point. Yeah, but. You, it, that wasn't about the rhymes. That was about something else. That what? was marketing. But that was a rapper thing. I was never trying to not be a rapper. And I wasn't trying to hurt that's him. That's some battle rap shit. Yeah, I wasn't trying to hurt him. It was, hey, when it's time to get to it, all things on the table. So most of your drama came from you picking with just niggas or niggas or you just uh what just me wanting to rap or me picking with niggas or me being misunderstood or me being ignorant. Mm. Like, but I take accountability in all of the situations. Because right. it's it's normally me. <laughs> it's normally me. It's that's, that's dope. Oh, that's cool. that's nice. Yeah, I know Jeezy left Dev Jam, right? Yeah? Yeah. And for what reason? Why'd you throw that in there? Because I think it's it's very interesting. That he left Def Yeah. He's going independent after all this time. I beat with Lil B. <laughs> you did! <laughs> oh yeah, yeah you did. did! Like my yeah. list don't stop with beef. <laughs> he just revealed that. Yeah, Lil Lil B. Name, B. Names Why is he even paying attention back to him, yo? Damn. That's Why did you beef with Lil B? Praise God. Was... All this shit is stupid, yo. <laughs> All this shit is dumb. All like, of it. All of it was dumb. All of it is dumb. Not worth the time or the energy. I think how how many times I gained nothing from it. Did your was, beef start off of a punchline that you just felt like was fire? Oh man, Tom. That's how my game shit started. But what was the line though? He should be in all the G unit build, he should be in the G unit build all against the actors. He should be in. That's when it was the I forgot the video, but there were actual actors. I wasn't talking about the rappers. I was talking about the gangster actors in the video. He didn't take that way. He didn't take that way. Popping and things, I think, was the video. That was the video. Thank you, Mac. I got you. And now fucking whoever did he gotta go meet with Chaz. And <laughs> it's gotta be a thing now. I was just trying to rap. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that there was this there was a world out there was a world bigger than rap I didn't know about mm-hmm. so damn near everybody took it personal with you oh for sure for sure that's, everybody took it they as they didn't take it as this is just rap this is going to this level now we're going yeah, to take no, it to this only level only base you. guard Saigon maybe I can't really think of nobody and even me and Saigon almost fought so I mean so y'all ran into each other you and Saigon we tried to Oh, <laughs> we tried to. We we tried to. I was trying to get a location on that motherfucker. No, we had each other's location, but I mean, it just didn't happen. Thank it fucked up my whole perception of what hip hop. Did, did is. y'all did y'all squash that? Oh, for sure. I've I'm, I've been blessed and fortunate enough to squash it with everybody I've had beef with. Well, you let him know. It was with just the rap. exception of Drake, he still seems to be. Old. Even he knows not no beef. Yeah, that's yeah, not. Yeah, that's that's not mean, he squashed it. Oh, maybe, but he he know it ain't no beef with me. Yeah. He can have a beef with me. But exactly. Yeah, exactly. he can have a beef with me. I don't have a beef with him. That's different. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's something different. That paragraph says something else. Yeah, keep this going. I want to find out what the police says. So. But even that paragraph, Mac, police. I didn't take it as beef. I I didn't take it as he had a beef with me. It was deep. If if he and, if, and he tried to touch my soul. Yeah, if he'd have rapped that your career was a failure and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That would be a diss record. 
Yeah, but it would be too late because I'm retired. I'm retired and established. There's nothing, no, no, none of them could do to cancel me. Mm-hmm. It's too late. You had your shot to do if it. If you're reading this, it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I exist. The history is cemented. Mm-hmm. You could call me a loser for the next 30 years, but I, I, I was who I was before I got here. Mm-hmm. There's nothing you could do about that. So if he'd have done that when I was rapping, okay, then, then that's probably going to hurt. <laughs> But no, because he ran away when we, I was rapping. Niggas didn't play with me when I was rapping. <laughs> Niggas didn't play with me like that. I was at that pool party Man, where he was, uh, nobody, where no. he was tweeting. Yeah. Where he pump it up. I want to see yeah. how Yeah. Like, yeah. niggas want to be passive aggressive with me, man. And I like it. I'll take it. I understand the Yo, Joe, why you tell me you had the police outside, man? You should have. I'm lucky, bro. He almost got popped. What happened? He went. <laughs> Well, well, nah, what's, yo, your, what's your reply to niggas shit. that say, yo, Joe Buttons is a one-hit wonder? Because that's what... I am. Hmm? I said I am. <laughs> no, I'm saying that's... Just, hey, what's your reply to them? I am? <laughs> <laughs> There's no debate. <laughs> There's no debate. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> that's the first thing niggas that say is like, all right. I challenge that with, I mean... You gotta say one smash wonder now. It's not a hit. It's not a hit. You can't trick me with numbers. Let the numbers tell it that Pump It Up just went gold this year. (laughs) What did did it really do? It's out of here. Generated a a B. A B or a few of them. Like, I know what it did. And I understand Mm -hmm. metrics in the music business. So, truth of the matter is, I had one shot with no marketing and no budgets. I delivered once and there wasn't an opportunity to deliver again. Right. So to the viewing public, you have one hit. Right. That's it. Mm-hmm. You can't change that. Who had that beat before you? Wasn't there somebody else that had that beat before you? I don't know. I don't know who had it. They didn't do what I did. Right. There's many stories about who had it, whether that mm-hmm. be some, somebody in Rockefeller. You know, I was, I was excited with you when Jay jumped on that shit. Very, very excited. A free remix. <laughs> can't, <laughs> can't beat that with a bat. <laughs> you can't beat that with a bat. And that's my man. I wish it would have been a few years later so I could have been uh, not so raw as an MC. Yeah. But 22 years old doing that, man. Come on, I hang my I hang my hat on that. That's part of the reason my jersey's up there, man. Niggas couldn't play with me. Niggas couldn't play with me. I love the fact that you took it back. Like, it's been a week, nigga. Niggas don't play with me, man. If that's only you when you I get love talk that stupid shit. shit. I was like, that's what made me a Joe Budden fan right there. That, that one move. But it's only you when you get talk stupid shit. Made me a fucking Budden fan, niggas bro. Don't, niggas don't play with me like that. I was like, oh, he took it back? Prompt responses. <laughs> Next day, I don't play. Give me that beat. Who's a full time Jack move? You got to do shit like that, dude. Sorry, Jerry so, Skane told me you took it back, bro. You got to <laughs> You gotta do shit like that just so the MCs respect it. You gotta always do that. You gotta always do that. If you got respect for the person that's coming at you, then you have to do it. It's like shooting a jumper. You gotta keep the defender honest. At no point was somebody just gonna talk crazy about me in a verse and you not spend the next next month listening to what I gotta say. That's why game was so fun, because he was long-winded too. <laughs> we both long-winded. We both got time. Me and Ram was fun. Hey, you said something, I'm back the next day. You back the next day. You back the next day. That shit's dead now. That don't exist no more. No, it, it exists. It's just a lot of extra with it. Oh, I don't see it. I mean, lyrically? No. I mean, lyrically, Niggas is clapping each other wise? now. Niggas oh, is, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That nigga that rapped about me, I got his chain now. That nigga that was saying all that crazy shit, we put him on World Star. That's that was what it is right now. His yeah. man is dead. So which, we which smoking means a it's not pack. worth it to do it. Mm-hmm. It ain't. Oh. It Back ain't, then, it was like, it. I missed the Street Wars mixtapes and shit like that. You know what I mean? Pete Cutter and them. Yeah, I missed all that. Like to go, I used to go downtown to Beat Street to go get Street Wars. Everybody <laughs> beefing on those mixtapes. <laughs> those was the shit. Hmm? Hell yeah. Even those beats were rhymes, though. Yeah, those, those shits were rhymes, which, which is what we've lost. Mm-hmm. And it fucking sucks. Yeah, I miss shit like that. Because the results aren't as good as what we had. Mm -hmm. The results suck. We get worse rapping. 
we get more posturing, we get less bars, we get more tantrums, we get less music, and we get more social media. Mm. And niggas will go live before they'll actually put a verse down. And it's gross, because at least then the the public, the audience, the fans, the consumers, we got music. We got so much music. Niggas was looking for the best beats to snap back on somebody with. And the competition kept going like this. Like every time you turned around, somebody was out rapping this when him and Saigon was going back. Those bars were stupid. Yeah. Having we, a field day shit. when Drake said something to him and he started doing that. I was like, oh God, this is great. Like as a music fan, it was fucking Nirvana. Shit was heaven. Now we get somebody say something that you think you think they said something about you. Instagram rant. No bars, Instagram rant. You you never reply. And you give a million reasons why he's not good enough for you to reply on a record with mm -hmm. while you're replying to him on a different medium. Mm -hmm. Some niggas ain't worth replying to. I didn't don't then don't acknowledge it at all, but they always reply. It's always a reply. You're always saying something. You just ain't doing it with the music. Mm -hmm. Because your music is probably ass. Like, like, like pinky ass. Like like Cherokee to <laughs> Cherokee ass. Cherokee, like, oh big, my god. Big huge. This nigga be ass. going. Just ass. Shit. And you don't want to expose yourself for being ass. Your yeah, pen's not like you that. Talking about? He's a porn Ooh, journalist too. Porn yeah, porn I see that. God damn. Who you talking Shit about, Max? I thought I was a Shit porn guy. Name, name me a beef over the last like five years. He said years. pinky ass. Cherokee D ass. Cherokee ass. Dirk it and He's into boy. porn real you got, heavy. You got records coming from him? Yes. Tons of records. And I'm not talking about that. <laughs> I said, I said uh, records in response. Okay. Like right. cool. These dudes, if they responded, I'm not talking about them. I'm sure Dirk fans and NBA fans are happy because they're getting music, but I think a lot of the fans today are, are more enthused by the possibility of violence versus mm -hmm. great music to listen to. Mm -hmm. I think I think I think the the fans, one generation to the next, what they look forward to is different. Like yeah, that nigga gonna die. You heard yeah, what he I, said. I want to put out a disclaimer because um, I was confused in this shit. You know. I gained a lot of popularity from actual violence, but I wanted to rap. And that was the reason why after Dose, I battled Iron Solomon, the nigga that niggas was ducking. And I don't care what nobody would want to fucking rewrite history and say, the best battle rappers that you look at, you all, oh, Mount Rushmore, oh, he definitely a Mount Rushmore, you can't count without him. They were ducking Iron Solomon. So I took that on, you know what I'm saying? Just to prove the motherfuckers, like, yo, I get busy, like, fuck that other shit. I get busy. But uh, it's, it's something about the, 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 the aura of, of yo, yo, this shit might get dirty, that everybody was just so fucking attracted to it. And I understand why these young niggas is doing what they doing now. I'm looking back at the shit that I idolized and I love, and I'm realizing, oh, they're just the evolution of this shit. Mm. They're just the level up. Okay, you old niggas is jumping niggas. Guess what? <laughs> this is what we doing. And we're going to make a record about it. <laughs> then we're going to tell on ourselves. And we're going to tell you all, every single detail. <laughs> this oh, yeah, is where it happened. Yeah, yeah, it's all real, nigga. And I'm gonna read about it from the R and B party, like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. look at the rail, they bugging out there. <laughs> Before wild. I let go, <laughs> I wanna know. <laughs> My old nigga bad. <laughs> Y'all can have this hip hop shit. They shot him how many times? Uh huh. Mm. That's crazy. I'm at the party when, when, the, when the wobble is coming. Off. Fuck all that other shit. Oh, shit. Outstanding. Yeah. Ooh, turn that Ain't none of the old people in there trying to shoot each other. We just jamming. Girl, you not real. That's the closest you get into violence. <laughs> <laughs> Great. That's great. <laughs> We're going to take a five-minute break.
So no. we talking about Kodak Black. I, we talking about Kodak Black, at Black Champs. being on Drink Champs. <laughs> shout out to Nori, shout out to Kodak. But apparently, like for me, and and just just being exposed to certain shit when I was younger, he looked like he looked like a fiend. He looked like a fiend who who's been through a, a, a lot of a lot of abuse as far as the drugs. And it, it's affect his neuro whatever, and he's just doing shit that's like, bruh, like I don't know what you on, I don't know what you was using, I don't know what, how that shit affected you. I'm, I'm looking at it, and I'm guessing this is how it affected you. But it doesn't. It's not. Com it's not a comfortable watch for us of the generation of we idolize the hustlers. But why do they attack like the podcaster for putting that that tape up? You know what I mean? Because it's an older generation that's attacking him. It's not the younger generation because they probably look at it like we don't seen all these niggas. No, I'm talking shit. about like Fars Nori. Like why he's about to answer. Yeah. No, but 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 this is this is generation. why because we look at it like you you just caught your crackhead nephew on camera and you put it out for some views. Mm. You dig what I'm saying? Mm. And and Kodak, I don't. I'm not saying he, he he smokes crack or nothing like that. It's just the 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 motions and the movements that he looked. It, it looks like something is wrong with the wiring. Right. Period. You could tell he was on something. And Nori has a job to do, but at the same time, he get the flag. The conversation that y'all had right in the beginning of the show. I don't put this out because I don't want to hurt you. I don't want it to look bad for you. But look, so this I'm, is what I did. I skimmed through I the comments. I also said I'm the only one that moves like that. You didn't say that. What? That I'm the only one that does that. It does what? It don't matter. It's not about me right now, but. That's, that's, that's <laughs> oh, you was patting yourself. You got caught patting. I always, I'm a Virgo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I always do that. Okay, what was my point? The drugs. Okay, right. <laughs> the drugs. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't. We People got to look at it like the older guys we got to Nori putting that episode yeah. out. All right. For the most part, I can guess that everybody in, in here is from a generation <coughs> where we idolize the drug dealers. No. Nah. No, nah, not me neither. It wasn't me. Wasn't you? No, nah, me neither. But I understand the niggas that did. I got right. it. Okay. I didn't idolize the drug dealers. You didn't idolize the drug dealers. I idolized the thieves. I fought with the drug dealers. I was using them. Hmm. Yeah, you just caught me off guard for a second. Why? Well, that's well documented in my story. I, I was yeah. the drug user, so I, I was beefing with drug dealers. I wasn't idolizing them. Where the shit at, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> so what was your take on this on this uh, this Kodak interview? Uh. See if I can get my dizzle bear. There you go. How to be safe. <laughs> play it safe. Play it safe. Go that squaring up with niggas. <laughs> 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 he's squaring up with No, I, I'm just saying, like, I don't like, think he's I, in I fight shape, but I don't still. want to. I don't want to offend. I don't want to offend people, but. It's, offen it's offensive if you want. I'm not talking about Kodak now. It's offensive if you go up to the fiend and say, yo, you fiend out. Or, or you look fiend out. Yeah, that that there is no way to say that and it not be offensive. Right. So I understand Kodak being defensive over some of the backlash. Right. But I mean, I'm, I hate to sound like a, the old man when we talk about hip hop, though. But all right, so hip hop is concerned now. They wasn't concerned when he was on Insta Live, laying on the floor like a dead fish, doing that shit, just talking. And <laughs> I didn't man, see that. And his man was recording him. I didn't see that. That was concerning. That was concerning. There's been a lot of behavior that was concerning. But us but, watching him dodge a bullet in slow motion, two feet away, that's concerning. There's been mad shit concerning about him for mad long. This is so this is where hip hop is drawing a line. That's awesome now, but hip hop should be a little more overprotective of its of ours. Of ours. Yeah. And, and now, now how do you do that when the mention Makes him want to square up with you. 
Well, you don't, you don't do that. You don't, you, you can't do that because of capitalism, right? So Kodak is worth too much money for anybody to really reprimand him or put him in time out or try to big brother him or he's worth too much for that. So he is who he is. I mean, the solution is probably to, to, to use a little more, it's a flip, it's nuance. The, the solution is probably to use a little more discernment in terms of who gets these opportunities. But part of why we love hip hop is because it's welcoming of all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it gets tricky. I think at a certain level of business, uh, it's gonna sound fucked up, but I don't think it's the time to be welcoming to all. I, 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 agree I, think, with that. I think that time has passed. I, right. I, I think this 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 cookie cutter um kind of kind of everybody do the copycat thing is that's sending a terrible message to the next generation of rappers. That no, that is making people feel nah. like it's a copycat business. Hip hop is reactionary. Is it possible to close the door? How do you even close that door? <clears throat> it almost feels like trying to unring the bell. You can close the door, but they don't close the door because they don't want that door closed. Snoop Dogg is arguably the most famous rapper in the world. He's also arguably the most sponsored, advertised rapper in the world. Snoop is a gang member. That's the business that we're in. Snoop did the Super Bowl as a gang member. Snoop, they don't stop him from nothing because he went with Martha Stewart as a gang member. Like, mm -hmm. we will bypass certain things if, you know. It serves make someone's me say bottom it. line. Don't make me say it. Right. We'll excuse that. Kodak, we'll excuse it. I don't want to just get to naming names, but in hip hop, we excuse it. When we don't excuse it, or when they don't excuse it, because who knows who's calling the shots in culture, we see fast action. They got on the baby fast for whatever he said on stage. That's a true story. Right. True story. Yes. But I can name some people that they got at fast. Hey, they got a problem with what that shit Lizzo says. Not rap, but when they want, when they want to, when they want to get you, they'll get you. Mm -hmm. If we're not getting you, there's a reason that we're not getting you. Okay, but because we need we need some sort of uh, agenda perpetuated. There is an agenda. <laughs> if, if, if we do. sign up to and if, if we subscribe to major record label uh, standards, traditions, and stigmas, then we sign up to the design. It's not till I'm older that I realize that there, there are no record labels. They all media companies. Right. They all do the news and the movies and the so and it's all so if you go. if you subscribe to words like me right like I believe words have meaning and you could will some shit to you like I believe in the slaves having to sing secret songs and talking cold I believe that music is a frequency yeah. and you now know that the media companies the same people that refuse to put good news on the morning news and the six o'clock news for a reason. It's the same thing, reason we see the same thing before every election. We're seeing it now, right? Then you know that media companies are signing a certain acts for frequencies to speak to the neighborhoods that they want those frequencies to go to. True. Mm. And if you realize that, then you have a problem with a lot of this shit going on. It's one of the reasons I'm so steadfast, I'm so stern in my retirement and drawing the line. It's not because I don't love rap music, but I can't subscribe to, as a man, what y'all are subscribing to. I can't do it. Yeah, but you don't have to. Why not, I don't. Why not, be the, why, why not be the difference? I'm the difference. I am the difference. But you're not the only difference, Joe. There's probably a, a bunch of other rappers who not, don't want to talk about the shit that everybody else talks I'm about. The only, I'm the only one that put action behind the thought. I'm the only quitting? one that puts action behind the thought. No, it's not just in that, because I didn't die, right? I stopped making music, but I'm still a disruptor <coughs> to the system. I still buck the system. I'm still independent. I am still haven't sold my rights anywhere. I believe in the talent calling the shots and the talent building the audience and nurturing that relationship with them through, uh, through commerce and being all right. I believe that at Def Jam, I believe that at mixtapes, I believe that now. Right. I've been offered it all. 
I tell them no. I've been offered blank checks. But I Joe, tell them Joe, no. We, we can't follow you on that independent shit because you have taken the deal before. Like we can't. We can't. You're not, you, you're not this is the you. only you're, top ten podcast that truly been you're, independent. You're not hearing me, and you're not a top. 10 so, but I hear what you're saying. But you're yes, not I hearing am. me, and you're not a top. <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, 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 we are. We can pull up podcasts yes, and literally see it. Yeah, we can. Don't, you can't stun on me. Stun oh, on me. I'm not, stop, I'm not trying to stun Come on, don't, then don't, then don't, then don't <laughs> say it. I thought we was trying to save the children. Don't call me. I thought we was trying to save the children. That's what we're doing now. Joe said you can't stun on me. Joe, but no, no, realistically, no, no, no. As far as, as, as hip hop and or urban or whatever you want to talk about, yes, I've been up there. You top five to me. I've been up there. You top five to me. Thank you. Thank you. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. I appreciate it. I, I, I say math, man. No, no, man. but realistically, yeah, I've been up there with y'all. You know what I mean? The, the Joe, uh, uh, fucking academics, a uh, million dollars worth of game. I've been bouncing in the numbers with you guys before. This is, that's, that's a fact. That can't be debated. It's happened. You dig what I'm saying? But that's not what I'm talking about. Back to bucking the system. Right. We're talking about bucking the system. Why, not, why not be the voice? Independent. No, you, vo you voice through action. You voice through action. You don't voice through voicing. This is the reason why I say voice through voice. <clears throat> if they're using this frequency to affect certain neighborhoods or I certain see where you're going. why you not start, have a counteractive because you eventually, frequency? I feel like we've had this talk before. You eventually realize that the participants are volunteering to participate. No. <laughs> but not everyone. I can't. Yes, agree they with are. That. Everyone. Everyone. Mm. I can't. Even, agree even with if that. it's by mistake, I can't right? agree with some that. of you niggas that that think y'all is signed to. I'm freestyling right now, so don't take this and fact check. Some of you niggas that think y'all signed to TuneCore don't know TuneCore is owned by. <laughs> Fucking section <laughs> You niggas is, is standing on uh, <laughs> false false ideologies, <laughs> fighting for things for non-existent virtues. Mm. We was on E1 talking about independent, independent. E1 was Atlantic. <laughs> it was. Yeah, it's still, it's still connected. Yeah, so I mean, so uh, unless you're direct to consumer, shit is all. You're not independent. Yeah. Yes, if you are not direct to consumer, you're not independent. <laughs> so Ryan Leslie's like the only independent nigga in the world. Who? Russ. Ryan That's Leslie's cute. independent. Russ ain't signing yeah. nobody, right? Russ, I think, is independent. Yeah, Russ is independent. And if he, he ain't, Russ had a deal. He had a deal at some point. He, he I think he not. had one. I don't yeah. think yeah, he, he had one and then he left. Right. I'm not mistaken. No but even if he's not independent now, some of his checks that come in is from his independence still. Like, That's what he be posting. Yo, shit, my album from 2012 is that. That's my own shit. Look what I did, y'all. Like. He goes about that messaging. Right. Facts. But then there's a, another check that's coming from the work that you've done with a major, and it would be well, yeah. in their best interest to keep that shit. Well, yeah. Listen, we all money. come from impoverished neighborhoods, right? <coughs> so don't misconstrue what I'm saying. Right. Nothing wrong with partnering for with anybody or working for anybody. Right. But it is a monopoly game, and you should be trying to figure out how to exit. Like, we be down. Like, I was down. I didn't have the option. Options are luxury. I didn't have the option to, when a bad contract was in front of me, turn it away. I had to maybe take a nigga saying, hey, here's 10 grand. Make a stretch for the next three years, and we're going to try to get a deal. It's irrational shit, but I did that, right, in hopes to see another day. And right. then you see a publishing deal, and then you see this deal, and then you see it. At some point, you get enough information, because that's really what it's about, and you say, oh, shit, I don't like none of this shit. That's why you get the act that you sign the bad deals and then they pop off the rip. Cardi B popped off rip. You were never getting a second album without them fixing whatever they put there. Hey, yo. <laughs> like, that's a blessing. But that ain't everybody's story. Mm -hmm. right. You want to live another day so you can design your life how you see fit. And if that's being a man to the, the, uh, the worker and a slave to the record labels for the rest of your life, then so be it. But... I don't know if that's, I don't know how fruitful that is. The, uh, and I, I, I Niggas got to go do the work. Nobody want to go do the work. No, nobody want to work. Nobody wants to do the work. <laughs> nobody wants to do the work. It takes work. Nobody wants to do the work. They want the results. They want the results with no work. Fast action, microwave, quick bullshit. Which is why the labels 
don't die. Yeah, they, they won't die because nobody wanted to work. Labels represent a shortcut. Russ was independent for years and years and years, building all that shit. Yeah, I, 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 I got to say, re recipes Dipsy. I was surprised. When then you got to go learn it. A man sat here and was talking about what he was talking about. Them niggas back there say, yo, dog, you got an hour left. We did a few episodes today. Yeah. You can't just sit here and do that. You got to go learn storage. You got to go learn all of this other shit for you to do this properly. If you want to if you want to really get to the work. If you want to be a slave and just come here and just keep talking and not pay for nothing, then get what comes to you. But if you want to do it this way, let's go take let's go to B&H. Let's get a million of these cards, tripods, stands, wires, cords. Lights. Can I record here? Lights, staff. Let's go. It's work. You got to spend. Most niggas can't spend to get to the work. Uh, that, that's not... Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yo, you niggas better show up with some more cards, man. Like, what the fuck, man? We gotta, they got an hour left. You know, know why? You overworked them. talking shit about y'all. <laughs> He's talking about y'all right now. He's and not you're not wasting some of the card time. You got I'm 45 minutes on the card. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so there's no, there's no artist or reputable artist that we could actually say is independent. That's that's your argument. <sighs> you chance to rap independent? No. You never son. No. Can we stop. 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 No. Stop. No. Stop. No. Stop. Mech, Mech is going wild on that topic. I'm not. I'm just. I'm laughing at Joe. Yeah. Joe started laughing the second Listen you said it. I ain't going. I'm not going to do that with him. What I will say is, the people who are truly independent will never tell you. Mm. Mm. They out there. And they kill the fuck up. Mm. They would never tell you. Know what happens when, when one of us break the mold? Like if, if one of these niggas go give me a hundred million dollar check, what they're gonna say is, don't tell them. <laughs> Let them keep being, do what they doing. We doing this for you, big dog. There's niggas out there that's getting it. Mm -hmm. You'll never know it and you'll never see it. You ever walk past Urban Plaza and see them lines around the corner and you look up at the marquee and you don't recognize the name? <laughs> it's those dudes. You go to you got you're in Times Square, you walk past the, the, the theater over there, you never saw that name before. The line is around the corner. Have no idea who he is, you've never seen an interview with him, you've never heard his shit at any place, ever. Meanwhile, the line is like around the corner. Like I mean, like, even guys that don't guys? do those type of shows still getting Oh, I, I'm just I'm just bringing guys up like an example. Chris Webby and fucking La Russell. Niggas, you know what I mean? They might not. Russell. Yeah. But La Russell, Russell. La Russell will be yeah, another one, but we know who he is. I'm talking about when you yeah. just walk in, you're like, what the fuck? Where the fuck all these kids go? What the fuck are y'all doing? And long ass line. You get to the marquee and you look up, it's like, I have never heard of that person before. That's one of them. And so they don't say shit. But well, La Russell's not anti establishment, he's just anti bad deal. That's kind of an oxymoron. Yeah. It's I mean, kind of it's kind of yeah, no, said, it, he said it. Well, at the, uh, he said it at the panel we was at in Tennessee. He said if he was to be offered a deal and it was the right deal, he would do it. But yeah. nothing has come to him that's there's, been there's right. Almost, there's almost no such thing as the right deal at that level. At the level he's on, I'm the, just saying, the split he, he would that's demand what he said. Not, that's right, what he said. I get it. But it's, it's almost like asking... This is going to, I, I can't even say that expression no more. It's almost like asking for a non-corrupt cop. Like... The system itself is so fucked up that after you join the system, you're automatically being in led a, in a certain direction. Right. So if we talk about a fair deal, a fair ain't nothing but a place where they judge pigs and pies, and they are like, "There's nothing fair." I don't agree with that because if, look at look at um look at artists who have gotten distribution deals, right? And I'm I'm not talking about the streaming shit. I'm talking about like how. Baby and them got thirty million from Universal. Puff Bruh. got what he got from Cloud. I know that don't exist anymore. Oh, we like sat that. here twenty one, kind of, kind of exposed like certain things within his deal. It shows that he's he's getting a very like his he has a a high advantage. I saw that episode. He didn't say he started like that. Yeah, I saw that episode too. He didn't say and that's that was the car. That's the Cardi situation. Hey, come back and fix this. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing it like mm -hmm. that's. Like, we're, we're right back to the same to the same point. 
those those the the labels it's not in their interest for you to flourish without them nor do they nor do they believe you can then there's that then there's that they know how much money it costs to break an act they know it better than us and if you can somehow defy those odds then you deserve it but most can't it ain't cheap but a lot of that is the system a lot of that is the system yeah. that we're, we're talking about you don't even Artists that I work with, artists that I consult for, they don't, they don't know where to spend the money, let alone having the money to spend. If they had a hundred bands, they would not know where to spend. Because everything's like a shot in the dark. I'd say that not hey, for labels. You might want to start at a streaming farm. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't hear me say that. <laughs> Labels know exactly where to spend the bread. Those shits are those shits are grandfathered in. They know exactly who to call. And, that's, and that's bad advice. Don't spread mm-hmm. that. That's what? bad advice. Because that's easy to say. I'm just saying. And and you're teaching people how to not get fans. Yeah, because because ain't nobody listening. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because that that full blow shit is real. Like people will actually see numbers and be like, "What is this? Why is everybody's fucking with this?" Until it's time for the show. And that's the big problem. That's the big problem. You better be able to sell a hard a ticket. Lot, and then it's a lot Tumble of leads blowing through. Yeah. A lot of parking. This parking. check, check this barriers <laughs> at every point. They got it. This system is in place since. There's a reason why all the artist stories are the same since the 50s, since Lil Richard. There's a reason for it. They got this shit covered, my G. It's covered. Yeah. They built the better mousetrap yeah. at every time. Yes. Wherever you think you could go get it. You can't get in the performance venues. You can't get on the playlist. You can't get on the radio. You can't get a lawyer. You can't get a deal over there. You can't do. You can't sell merch. You can't. What can you do? What are you going to do? It's not our only thing. No, you got to do. <laughs> did you order food? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Um, we my bad guy. What the doors? Behind you. <laughs> <laughs> my, man was about, my man was about to shoot. <coughs> <kill it. coughs> Grab it. All right. So, we argued the labels. Too much lingering for me. Dame comida, por favor. Gracias. It's all mine. What you order? <laughs> oh, I don't know what the fuck this <laughs> Be careful, champ. You What's the wing, like wing stop? Wings. Yeah. Mm. The rest of it in here. Commissary's here, champ. The fuck out of here, man. <laughs> Yo, hide the bags, man. We got to do that It's too right? late, my nigga. It's too late, bro. It's too late. It's too late, bro. All right, so so if that's the case, how do you explain the the, the popularity of, of some of these artists that okay. you probably listen to and be like, what the fuck is this? What do you mean? How do I explain it? How do you explain that? If if it's if it's not if the game is not rigged, you talk about okay, the streaming forums. Da, 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 da. It is rigged. What are you talking right. about? We saying it's rigged. All right, the the argument that you're making against the streaming forums is is a live show performance. No, 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 that was one piece of. That was one piece of it, but I'm not really arguing against streaming farms. I'm just saying if you're an artist and you're trying to get your song popping, I don't think that's the first place you spend money, but it may be in your plan. Right. But but my my point is the game is rigged. The game is rigged. Until we create a new a new game or we get enough uh capital or power to try to alter some things in this shit then we should not be so we should not be so free casual and cavalier with our greatest asset and this is our greatest asset as a people so i would just want to understand why we don't treat it that way well as far as like the working with the labels is, is, is what you're saying yeah just in, yeah, it's, just in terms of relinquishing rights or not understanding the value of certain things. Well, when there's agendas at play, when you mention things like, oh, such and such is a gang member, da, 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 that's why this is perpetuated this way, then you understand the game that you got to play. You, you're going to, at, at some point, you are going to compromise your, your, your morality. Uh, okay, I'm listening. 
Say it again. I'm listening to you. At some point, you're going to compromise your morale. Or your morals change. Yeah. Or your morals change. Ah, uh, God. Assuming you had any when you got yeah. it. Yeah. Because if you're a gang member, yeah. your morals are already at a certain place. Especially if you're active. Most of these niggas don't give a fuck, man. Some some I, niggas, I, they, I, they, they were born f- into that shit, bro. And, it, and, it's, and it's you, the you, then you would, then you were raised with your morals at a certain place. And I'm not judging them. I'm just saying if, if we're all products of our environment, one way or the other, everybody ha- is moral is going. Their morals are going to shift depending on where you are and what you've had to do. If, if, if you grew up never having to make tough choices, that's one thing. If you grew up having to make Certain tough choices, that's another thing. But, you know, if you've never known what it's like to do this or else, you know what I mean? And if you came up in that environment, hey, do this or else, your morals are at a certain place. And certain things you do don't really seem terrible. They kind of seem necessary. And it's hard to judge a man for doing what he, what to him is necessary, especially if he doesn't see an alternative. And that's... 90% 90% of rappers who sign up Listen, to labels. But this is what I'm saying. I'm not, I don't want to make it sound like I'm, I'm anti-establishment because I feel like at some point during the course of, of, of me growing to love hip hop, the establishment was in charge of this balance that I appreciated. Now, the lack of this balance, they're saying that hip hop is down 40%. I didn't say that. You didn't say Juicy that. Jackson what, did. What's your feelings on that? Do you feel like that's I, accurate? I won't, I won't speak to it until I see that it's factual. I can't, I can't just go up Juicy J saying that. Okay. I don't I don't know that that's factual. I, I, well, never mind. Well, how do you feel about ages? Because I feel like that's the, the counteractive to all this shit. I feel like we, we abolish that. If you, if you have more mature voices making music again, then people will have a balance of... Okay, you got your ignorant shit. I agree with you, that. but that goes against capitalism. You said it go, goes, against, goes against, against capitalism. How so? When you're still... For a few different ways. When someone's still making money off of it. When I got my record deal, I was, however old I was, they told me to lie about my age because the, the runway would be longer, right? So if I was 23, they told me to be 19 because that's an extra four years of capitalism. What was the cutoff age in their mind? Who knows? But if you're 23 and you want a 10 year career and people start looking at you a little funny, hey, just skew it younger. That was that was a common thing. Skew yourself younger, your industry age. That's one. Two, older people are more logical. Older people have, have more brains, right? So this is not this is not the seventies where you know, the OJs and the Temptations and the Four Tops, you could get a deal as a man, as an adult, and have the band, but then even that costs money. See, back to capitalism. They 86 to everything out of here to just get it down to the prey, which is the one child without a dad or without a parent, without a network, without a support group, and this is your opportunity. We could change your life. There's very few people that's gonna turn that away. There's very few people that should. Well, well, yeah, no, 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 because despite all the horror stories that I've heard from these legendary artists sitting across from me, they still had a profound effect on someone. Q-Tip uh, sat in that chair and, you know, he did, uh, he, uh, he hated his first deal and all that. But what, what would hip hop be without Tribe if that never happened? You dig what I'm saying? Like. Yeah, but his his circumstances before signing the deal weren't as dire as the, the guy he's Listen, describing. until you fuck a bad, like the baddest bitch out, that five is good money for you. You dig what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like your circumstances. Yeah, not okay. No, no, <laughs> I'm just saying your circumstances just, it, it, it changes along the way. Their circumstances led them to taking that situation they they grew and got success and then realized what a good deal was. But at the time, the circumstances said, this is a good situation for us. Which is why I don't really understand that. I, I get the complaining now that you know, okay, somebody took advantage, but you also took advantage of that situation also. I don't see it that way. How do you see it? Uh, 
Because you, you've taken situations for your podcast and then opted out of them, correct? Well, finished the term. You finished the term and decided not to, to redo those situations. If you're in America, then everything is marketing and advertising. Sometimes you mm -hmm. have to take a play that will market you in a way greater than you can market yourself. And that's a partnership. So I'm with you. Most, most people, you know, you want to... That's why I always ask rappers, what do you want to do? Like, some of them just want to get known and famous. And if that's the case, then all right, don't listen to nothing I'm saying. <laughs> Who gave that answer? Plenty, plenty of most artists. Most of them. Plenty of artists. Most, most of them. Plenty of artists. Just With no wanna... money? What? It's just being fucking battle rap. Money is not the first answer people <laughs> 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 How many times have you heard me sit in this chair and say attention is the new currency? Yeah. I'm not making it's it up. It's attention first. Money may be second, but... Might be second. Yeah, might Notori be Notoriety second. is first. Yeah, it's attention first. Fame, clout, mm -hmm. attention. Yes, that all comes That all comes first. Know how I know that to be true? Instagram right now is probably the greatest. They got all our publishers. <laughs> and we'll put it right in your face. Hey, this is such and such audio or original audio from you. Just you talking is theirs. That don't stop nobody from talking into Instagram. Know why? Because they have community. It's the same thing that fucking TikTok did. It's the same. It's the same play all them do. TikTok come and say, hey, our algorithm will spread you to hundreds of millions. We're the only one like that. These other places aren't doing that. The second we go over there, they change, they change it. They put the governor on it. Oh, you'll never, you'll never get that again now. Yeah. Their job is done. But now they have labels. They have a, the, a fucking TikTok label. Let's go to art. Let's go to art now, right? I'm an artist, not a music artist. I'm an artist. I go to Michael's and get a canvas and I draw some shit. Let's pretend that I made the greatest piece of art to ever exist or top 20, right? Some Mona Lisa type. In the art world, I'm going to find a way, well, I'm going to find a way to get, get value for that. You're going to take it to the people with the little funny eye thing. They're going to they're gonna do whatever they do. Right. To your tribe point, I think tribe should be, uh, should be celebrated and should be wealthier than they are because they've made some of the greatest art pieces ever. Right. I think that Birdman, how much money do you think Birdman has made uh, the, the Universal Building? Hmm. Billions. I think that he should participate in that. I think that the game's participants should participate where they see success. And in this game, the way it's designed, it won't happen like that. But everything is based. But on that's coming to change. But that is coming to change, though. Changing? I don't want to sit here and sound I'll be like I'm like it's depressing. That will we will we'll see a turn from now to 2030. It's from now to change. from now to 2030, we'll, we will see a turn. The tech is advancing. That they can't keep up with the tech. The tech is going to advance to a place where another turn is going to come. So. Hopefully that's where the revolt will but, come from. But not only that, I want to. And say the newer young kids are willing to buck the system more than these bitch ass niggas that's out. Right. These bitch ass niggas that's out is just free slaves. They're not about nothing but themselves, mm -hmm. self serving. They're not trying to do nothing to pass the baton to their grandkids. Niggas got to stop thinking about our time here. Our time here is uh, our times uh, limited. Their time limited. Uh uh. Yeah. I, I want to say shout out to Dame Dash. Um, he has a new platform where you actually get to see the advertising dollars. See, look, like what they did to Dame Dash. America knew. America you said, look what they did to Dame Dash. What? America knew. Yeah, that's what it's called. America knew. I think that there's, there's going to be a lot of follow, platforms that follow that same moniker and we'll be able to see that change eventually. Mm -hmm. However, what you're saying about uh, uh, the guys that come with the thing and they analyze the art. We're now those guys. Sadly mistaken. I don't agree. The, the, well, sadly, sadly Well, then mistaken. you misunderstand how much, how much uh, influence you have. 
Joe, you can't tell me if if there's an unknown rapper somewhere rapping his ass off, you get on your platform, you say, yo, this guy, he's the guy. His numbers ain't going to go up. People ain't going to turn and be like, who is this guy? The Joe Buttons, this guy that I'm... I spend fucking 50 hours a week and paying attention to. Play, play it out. I like right. the, I like play the it example. Out. Right. Then they I follow. Like they, be, they become fans. And then. No, 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 no. You got to rewind on this. Get back to the numbers part. I go on my podcast. Yo, empty this nigga. Yo, Math Hopper's album is crazy. Yeah. yeah. Math Hopper's <laughs> al- album is crazy. When enough heat comes your way, you will be at a crossroads and you got to make a decision. Most artists at that crossroads will sign their rights away to the label that's coming because you have heat now. Or that attention you got in your infrastructure, whatever you set up without that label is going to net minimum minimum returns because your infrastructure is you're not even set up to handle what's coming that way. We are not the people that that stamp the value. We are the people we are the drivers of inventory. I am a driver of inventory. I'm not housing the inventory and putting a price on the inventory. I could just tell people, your math got some hot shit. I drove people to math. I'm not putting a price on math. And that's where the difference is. The niggas that with the fine thing on the thing is saying, this is worth 10 million. There's not nobody, hey, the fake of this is worth, like they got it, I can't do that with you. But that, that same traffic does have a dollar amount. Everybody, just everybody, just like the same way the streaming, the streaming farms. The streaming farms, you might say, okay, empty shows. However, I came here you walk into a fucking label and your numbers are sky high. These motherfuckers don't know the fucking difference. I came in years ago and I said, what's the value of a stream? On my part, what's oh, yeah. the value of a no, To this day, nobody fucking knows. Girl, dude. People should be trying to find out. I Try think that's going to go happen. back to vinyl and, and CDs and records, nigga. You need to go back to that. You can't take Some it. people never left it. I, I can actually see story. tangible Some, tangible forms of music. These niggas won't do that because that takes time. Mm-hmm. That takes time and money, and you have to have a plan and be prepared to do it. Because, mm-hmm. yeah, we need to do this three to four to five months in advance. To, to well, at least six, you know five hundred. Yeah, at least word, you know five hundred thousand is gold, and a, and a million is platinum. And you got to don't even and, know and what you got to pay for these. How, how many you want? Yeah. How yeah, many man. you want? You got to pay for them right now. Nine months out, you got to pay. How many you want? With no idea how many you're gonna <laughs> sell. That's mm-hmm. stupid. You ain't even put your song out yet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and they don't make them in the country. You still got to get. You still got to get them over here. Yeah, come on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can. Yeah, I hear all that hot shit, but my nigga, the, the technology where it's at right now, you can have the fucking factory across I'm the just street. talking about vinyl. Yeah, yeah, you don't have none, so you can't say, you I get, hear that. The, there could be a fucking factory across the street, bro. It's cutting all day long, milling out. Cut, mail, cut. Where is this? Shit, I wish I could go back to that. that. Just <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not crazy. I'm not that crazy. vinyl shit is different, man. Uh, or, shit bro, different there are things. no vinyl factories in the United States. They don't make vinyl here at all. All right, it doesn't have not to be, somewhere here that makes it. Uh, but it's not, very, not on a major, vinyl. not on a major, some, like, not, not, not on a major to, tip. It's exactly, obscure, but like to, but to, to fulfill the and the, like he's saying, the orders are at minimum. Do you you Pieces think there's a reason why they stopped that though? Yeah, because the technology moved on. Because how many people do you know have record players? There's a lot of people got record. How players. many? Not enough to sustain the business. In other words, not enough to hire the people necessary to make the vinyl. To, mm-hmm. to, to put it together, to do everything, that, to press the press and plant, to run a press and plant, I can't sell enough pieces of vinyl to pay everybody it takes to run a press and plant. Why would we sell vinyl after Napster? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was just thinking that. I was thinking Lime Wire. We're gonna take a we're gonna take a, in the United uh, uh, States. We're gonna take a foul, 40. we're gonna upload it, the 40 world can have it. In the United States. We don't have to store none of this shit. We don't have to, it's just less of a, a headache. Where are they? Throughout the United States. Yeah, I need to see, I need to see those. My bad. No, I don't. Oh, no, I'm I don't doubt you. Just I'm chilling. I just googled it. That's why. Yeah, I, I love it. I'd love to see those to get most places to do large orders of vinyl, the kind that are necessary to make it worth it. are in China. I know because I've I've had yeah, the, the order majority, the majority and they, and it yeah. takes six to eight months in advance 
to, to mm-hmm. and you again, you don't even know if that song's going to sell. And you can nobody, be sitting on 300 pieces of vinyl that don't move. You only sold 20. And then you're done. Mm-hmm. And then you're done. Ain't nobody selling vinyl yeah, right now, but no, killing my ass. hell are you hope? No hope, niggas, man. I don't want to see <laughs> niggas, man. See, that's the problem. That niggas. right there is the problem. How is it the problem? Because, because my message is one of hope. Right. Find a way around My message it. is one of hope. So if all you hear from what I'm saying is no hope, that means that we're just going to continue to be slaves to the system. This is hope. Here's the problem. Here's the issue. Here's the obstacle. It's right there in front of you. I've exposed it. You're not going to go 50 miles an hour and run into the wall and die. Now you know it's there. You know exactly where it's going to be. Figure it out. If you believe in yourself, go to the bank and get a loan. Get your good family member with the good credit yep. to come co-sign. Take your money and treat yourself like the brand and business you are. And, and that's that. And don't have somebody else mm-hmm. do it for you. Interest rates will be much lower than a record deal. Yeah. Nice. That's, that's, that, that's my advice. That's, that's funny. A message. It, it, and that's a message of hope. It, 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 there's so many people that told me to do that. It's like, it's not even fun. That, that is that my message. That was a mic drop right there. It's a mic drop. That's it. Episode done. We're not going to talk about Ice Spice Cheese. Nah. <laughs> All right, we you just did. <laughs> Soul of Brown. Look around you, man. You can find inspiration. You can find discouragement. It all depends on you. Perception is everything. Some people just hear another song. Some people hear the greatest. A nigga used to have no chill. Nowadays, I bump side A. Traffic on bumper to bumper, stuck on the highway.